Welcome to the regurgitated podcast. Attempt or, three. Or is it? Or attempt, is this? Uh, maybe. Attempt three of episode 47. It is 75% my fault that we lost attempts one and two. Attempt one, my computer blue screened and uh, and I was recording wrong anyway. So it's kind of 50% my fault, 50% the uh, blue screen. Uh, attempt two was last Friday, right? Probably. And uh, I didn't record the audio right again. So I made, we actually tested this it. This doesn't time. matter. This isn't, this isn't going to, no, it's still broken. <laughs> I can say whatever I want now and there's no consequences. Yeah, that's true. And I don't have to censor anything censor, if you're muted. Censor whatever, censor whatever I'm saying yeah. right now. Yeah. What word, what word do, would you want to be to censor? <laughs> um. Okay. No. You shouldn't be saying that. That's not, that's not your word. That isn't your word. The French. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, I fucked up. Uh, we got two g- good episodes, and I we actually through the loss of them, we decanonized Tristan as a person and <laughs> Len and you joined too. Yeah, he, he. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. Tristan hasn't been in in a long time. He joined two times in a row, <laughs> and we lost it. And then we had new guys. We had we found your long lost brothers. No one even is gonna get this like this isn't even a reference people are going to understand they're no longer canon period yeah i mean unless they somehow rediscover you i was really worried that you were going to be upset with me because i was very upset with me and i was like i can't take more than me being mad at me i'm not upset with you and i know this sounds like a bitch ass thing to say i have felt like the past couple weeks i've been like up here energy and creativity wise and then a lot of like shits happened to me. And now I'm like down here mm-hmm. and I just got out of a long, hard, throbbing day at work. Mm-hmm. And now I'm here and well, this you look shit, spry. you look great. Eat, eat, eat it up. You fuckers. Look you look good. Uh, I said jokes. I joked about the Trump assassination. No, it's completely irrelevant. Yes, now. You made a- I can't keep that. <laughs> okay, in, but please, that sounds way <laughs> that sounds way worse out of context. <laughs> that sounds way worse. No, it was a. It still wasn't good. We were joking around about the birther stuff, <laughs> and I said, <laughs> yeah. which, is "Which is fucking bad, insane." Though. That's fucking insane to say. Uh, no, no, yeah, cut that. Well, so, no, I was gonna say the Trump, the Trump stuff, and then the Secret Service came. Yeah, to me, let's actually let's give I, a, let's give a recap and, of everything we and, talked about in the last two episodes. Yeah, yeah, last let's, two. This is a podcast yeah. about podcasts. You yeah. can't hear. You'll never be able to hear it. Fuck you. I hate you. I hate me. I hate everything. I me hate too. Ben. Look at his face. Look at him smile. Look at him frown. Look at him stick his tongue out. Look at him pick his nose. Look at him pull his penis out. Yeah, look at him eat. Look at him eat his booger. I could pull my dick out right now. I could. But let me let me ask you, Zach. Do you remember what we talked about in the first attempt of episode forty-seven? I mean, three hours worth of shit, probably. Tristan, we love you. We love seeing you. Uh, we do uh, love Tristan. Hey, thank you for the Elden Ring video views. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> how many? Th- this is the third time in a yeah. row we're gonna yeah. go over that. Um, yeah, so guys, Ben released an Elden Ring video. If you're unaware, the last time I talked to you, I said um, don't watch yep, it yep. because who I I haven't watched it and I can't personally recommend if it's good or not. Turns out it doesn't matter what I think. The internet discovered him and his lovable little personality. They want to um, insert themselves in his tight little lovable, cute, Pussy. jiggly personality. Oh. And, um, I mean, I can't even make a joke about it. I mean, the views are genuinely ridiculous. I, do you want to add on to that at all? Or should we teams. just yada, yada, yada this whole fucking well, thing now? So if it's, yeah, if, I mean, if, if hopefully this one goes out, uh, thanks for all the views. Thanks for all the subs. If you're seeing this, um, should have said that about a month ago. Kind of did. Um, it's been crazy. I still get comments every day. I still get subscribers every day. I got a subscriber while I was streaming. I got a comment while I was streaming. Um, yeah, the, comment, the comment was you should play Elden Ring instead of Roblox. Yeah, no, actually, it kind of was. It kind of was. It said you yeah. should play the DLC <laughs> but with the, these guys. So, I mean, and I, I thank well, you, not me. thank you, yeah, not you, thank you, uh, Brian, Barney, and Evan, 
for uh, uh, carrying the content. And thank you, me, for editing it and making me look funnier than I am. What about me for the five second animation? Ooh, you for the five second animation and, con- and the consultation and the co- uh, consistent pushing me to actually release the thing. <laughs> Thank you, ben, I'm not going to lie to you again. I, I'm not. I'm not joking. I feel like horseshit today. Please carry this episode. I'm okay. relying on you to be funny. You know, I, I did think, think of a. I don't have a, a joke this time. to start this off with, and then I uh, forgot. So that's. That's you great. know what? You know what would be a great thing? We should just loop that one joke I made in Mario Superstar Baseball for an okay. hour. He, he made a joke. He made a joke. It's it's a good joke. We're playing Mario uh, Superstar Baseball. It. Credits. Mm-hmm. We were playing Mario Superstar Baseball, and he's better than I am. And I was trying to like catch the ball. I was in the outfield. I was trying to catch the ball, and I said, "Where is the ball?" And then you there's a like an, a silent there's dead air for like six seconds. And then Sean figures out a joke. He goes, my dog, when he wakes up from surgery. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed at that for 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm still thinking of that. It's context is gone. Now people are going to think I'm a bad guy. I already cut that out. I already cut that out. Well, now we, <laughs> now you, cut this out. <laughs> uh, you know what? Do something funny with it. I don't care. Like what? I don't know. Make me a make me a funny little guy. I can make you funnier than you already are. Oh yeah, do you want to go through like a workshop? Ooh. Uh yeah. Um what's okay, here's the here's the quiz. That's a quiz? Yeah. Um here's a quiz. So, in funny school, they te- they teach you one rule about improv. What is it? Yes and yes and uh, yes and that's a good no that's pretty good so far. Uh, in in Sean uh, looks enthralled. In 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 I, I was gonna say something funny, but it was also racist. <laughs> okay, subscribe to the show, guys. Okay. We're gonna need you to subscribe uh, to no. keep get, getting cutting us through this. No, that's fair. That's fair. I subscribe was actually to the I, Patreon for more censored racist comments. I was actually thinking yeah, you get the, same the thing. uncut version. <laughs> We should have um, a tier of the Patreon or of the OnlyFans or whatever the fuck it is that people give us money. There should be a shirt on vomitshop.com that costs um, like 10 grand. And if you buy it, we will give a you picture content. Of my, no, it's a picture of my face and it's just the N-word. Like, <laughs> for 10 grand. It's just a TKO design. No. Um, yeah, Not but there should, be like a, there should be like a, like a Patreon tier or something called cancel me and if you pay us like 10 to 20 grand we give you all the uncensored cuts just full of cancelable content okay hear me out zach speaking of uncut are you no you ever wish you were though uncut i would yeah i i would cut myself so so I, I know that it's like there was the, the, the whole thing where sometimes later in life you get it because if you don't like if you, you can get circumcised, Apparently if you don't it's treat painful it right. if you do it painful. as an adult. Um, I can't imagine having a sock over my cock and I would love yeah, to yeah. like ask sock cock questions to a person that has a sock cock. Mm. Right, let's That's a great content idea. Do any of your friends that are going to Cleveland this month, are there any of them uncut? Yes. <clears throat> Save your questions. I don't want to we'll say it because I don't know if... <laughs> He even knows that I know that. But <laughs> okay. I, I, I well, open his yeah, pant yeah, like, but when, when he when he falls asleep, we check. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you can surprise him with an interview being How filmed. You, Mike, for so my dick when I pee is soft. How does your pee just not dribble all into that sock? That's like, the kind of questions that we're going to be asking our, our uncut friend. <laughs> well, some of them the don't podcast. fully wrap over. Some of them don't fully wrap. So there are ten different, uh, ten ten standard uh, uh, circumcisions, I guess. I have a friend that has keeping uh, number track five. of this shit. Well, I think it's just There's like a number five. I think it's just like, like a barber. Like yeah, I got a number five cock. What, it, what are you talking it might be, about? It might be as simple as like ten percent of the good, space good, from good. here to here is cut. So that's like that's a one. That's a two. That's a three. Well, that's who a four. needs to measure this? Rabbi. I don't understand how what the useful, use of it is because I think yeah, how useful is this? So a five or well, well, you know, if you have if you have if you're uncut, you you need to do more pleasurable. Uh, you have more pleasurable sex and the yada yada and all that. But just propaganda. 
I don't know what that feels like, and I don't want to have a sock cock. <laughs> like, I, can you get it back? Like, can you, you can't put it back on. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Exactly. I do. I do find it strange that we pick for the kids, though. I'm not trying yeah. to be one of those guys who's making yeah. that my whole fight, but I do think, like, you know, li- like you should have an option. You know what I mean? You, think like, you want the kids to be like, I want to get circumcised as a baby. Yeah, I mean, listen, I was yeah. a side as at birth. That would be a good bit, no? What? Signed, circumcised at birth, no? Like gender. Oh. Uh, yeah, what? But it's like satirical because uh, but, like that doesn't matter. But unironically, no, that, that is a funny bit. I like that bit. But unironically, is that going to be like the next wave of... No, like, I, don't think, I, don't think, I, I don't think people care. Guys, I didn't even get to like talk about my Trump... Joke yeah, like, I said. Let, well, okay. well, hold on. You, you got updates, right? You got life updates. Yeah, Zach, talk about what's those? going on, Zach? Yeah, I feel like we're going so out of order, though. I made a joke about Trump, and then I said that someone should do it again, and then everyone laughed because it was kind of quirky. And then I joked about the Secret Service showing up, and then I joked that uh, I was talking to the camera, and I was saying, "Hey, Secret Service, if you." Um, don't you know if 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 I'm if you're interviewing me and I'm telling you it's just a joke, it's actually not. I really think these things. And then I did like a lock me up chant, and I was on a roll, folks. Mm. And Anyways, David, I, David was on the last episode. Oh yeah, and he had a one funny of those clips. Joke. David had a funny one of those joke. clips he filmed for us. I disagree. <laughs> no, I knew that one. David had a funny ass joke where he. He was like, we were talking about how he Trump did the thing where he like put his fist up, and uh, he made a, a, a Trump joke got fisted. In, yeah, and he made, yes, Trump got fisted, and he made a reference to Black I Lives think he Matter. Got shot, and he said, actually, huh? Trump got shot. Yeah, yeah, and someone should do it again. <laughs> there we lock go. Lock me there up. You know, there, lock lock me, up. me up. No, but lock uh, me up. David David was saying that we that white people need to get the the fist up in the air back and that Trump did that oh, for us. Oh, you think we got to get one back from But that's what David said. David wants wow. us to shoot a black person for Donald Trump? I had a hair in my shit. Why well, you know? digging you in your own picking shit? Through your shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I meant in my you're, you're, I'm in my you're, oatmeal. You should guys if you haven't subscribed already. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing. Um you know what they are doing? Subscribing now. Leave, it, leave me a comment right now and say that guy looks funny. And don't tell, don't say which guy is the one that looks funny. Not the guy with the weird. Not me. Hair. Not Can the, you put not that gif up I posted guy. in general chat of the guy mooning? Yeah. Can you just have it like bounce around the screen like the DVD logo for like ten seconds? Oh, dude, I have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I mean, you I just animate how. the position. <laughs> I think I know how actually. You just put like four keyframes down. I don't know. Too much work, uh, but I will. Uh, I didn't want to talk about the Olympics. I went to Hawaii. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was. I yeah, was. Hawaii. I, mean, I don't know. I didn't We're hear just about speed it. running through all the shit that we talked about before. I went to Hawaii. I saw you a peed, friend. You peed illegally, and you have a oh, yes. in your head. Uh, you might have to. You might have to cut that video before certain things happen. But yes. Yes, uh, I definitely did that. I also used the bathroom in the woods. You could put that video in there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I uh, yeah, it was fun. I saw Tristan. He was cool. That's a cool guy. You're so hot. You talked to him on the show, and he is funny. And then you see him Tristan's in person, and, and yeah, he's even hotter and funnier in person. Um, it it is interesting. It's you know when I take other trips, it's like oh I went here and I did this thing and then I did that thing and then I met this person. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just going around doing a bunch of stuff and I can't shut the freak up about it. Hawaii. I went to the beach. I drank some alcohol. I drank some coffee, and I went to some restaurants and I saw some friends. That's pretty much it. And you know what? I'm happy about it. Was Hawaii nice in general? Like the place itself. That was very nice. Oh, did you get oh. Were you there for any wildfires or no? No wildfires, no wildfires. Um, Hopefully Tristan isn't upset with me for telling this story, but I forgot to say this. This is actually a new story. I forgot to say this last time. We were at um, this bar in in Hawaii, and it's just me, Tristan, and my girlfriend, Megan. And Megan finds this girl, like, by herself, like, just just smoking a cigarette in the corner of the bar. 
And um, she's like, yeah, I was just stood up on like two dates, like two dates tonight. And of course, you know, she's very social. She gets talking and she's like inviting her into our little group for the night. And apparently she's like sober, but she's like hanging out at this bar by herself. And, um, you know, well, no, I mean, so like, I'm just drunk beyond repair. It's like, I'm like dancing with people and I'm just hanging out with, you know, Tristan the whole night. And we're just getting, it's like the drunkest we were the whole trip was this night. And at one point we're like, we go into this other bar and we're doing karaoke and this girl leans in the tree. Someone's doing all right by Kendrick Lamar. Do you know that song? Yeah. And, uh, it's like, it's like a, I don't know if he was white or not, but he certainly wasn't black. And he was not saying the N word. Right. He was like, and we go be all, he was like pausing and she leans in the Tristan and goes, why isn't he saying it? <laughs> why isn't he saying it? And then I, maybe I'm getting this part wrong. I forget if she like says the N word to him or not, but like either way, you know, that kind of shifted the mood of the night. And then the next day, Megan is like looking through her Instagram page and it is just like a full like p- Instagram page of like men, like pictures of men that stood her up on dates and like their address and like her, like, d- like ranting about each individual man that stood her up on she's all like of a, these she's dates. She's a femme cell. That's what they call it, right? I, 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 I honestly, maybe. Okay, and but- so. Go ahead, finish. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just like, we're, this lady's like, we're going, we're just talking about it. Like when we're all sober the next day and we're like, this lady's fucking insane. Anyways, flat, fast forward until earlier in the week, I'm hanging earlier this week, I'm hanging out with Megan and she goes, remember that girl from Hawaii that we all found? She just messaged me right now and asked me what deodorant I use. <laughs> it's just like what more and more things keep adding up about this lady where we're like, oh, what the fuck out. did you find? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, who well, is this person? Well, it checks out that the, the dates were standing her up. She seems like a fucking wacko. I, I mean, honestly, like from t- again, I was pretty drunk, so I don't really remember. A, like, maybe, maybe I wasn't like properly processing her, but I had a decent time, like just hanging out and talking with her. It was just like the th- little things that were weird about her were massive fucking things that ended up being weird about her. You know, yeah. the shit started adding up. Mm-hmm. So she wasn't your cup of tea. Ain't not a Kona big wave. I had my girlfriend with me. I don't know. <laughs> she was not my cup of tea. No. Your girlfriend wasn't? That's crazy. That's crazy to say. What? No, absolutely <laughs> not. On National Girlfriend's Day. So today, you didn't tell me that. No, wasn't that last podcast? Apparently. <laughs> she, brother, I feel like every fucking three weeks I get a message from my girlfriend telling me it's National Girlfriend Day. So at this point, Sean's, I don't know what's going on. Sean's to in the clear. Yeah. Sean's in the clear. Yeah, I, did, I just forward those messages to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> honestly that might be the best uh, that's that's why it's a scam they get like 20 national girlfriend days a year but only one like mother's day right so that's the that's the goal to get to is to like wife up a girl and have her be a mommy so that way you only get one holiday because otherwise you're buying your girl like 20 women gifts get all a the year holidays? where's the right? men's day yeah, well, there's we are, definitely like a boyfriend's day, but I only heard about it once. I feel like I've heard about fucking 500 national girlfriends days um, so this year. Let, I have a quick question. So the woman that you guys met at the bar l- was Hawaiian, like lived on in Hawaii? Yeah, I think uh, from what I gathered, she was like some a real estate agent and she lived on Oahu, which is one of the islands. But she has like seven homes on like all the different islands. Yeah. Oh, that's or something. Okay, so, so those islands aren't big. She can find those dudes. I, I, that's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Right, like, but like, like I, she's actively like I don't know. I, I'm obviously not gonna like dox somebody, but I might ask. I might ask Megan for the Instagram page so I could show you privately later because I, it, it, I mean, she's going around putting a bunch of people on blast. You know, like, and obviously, I'm sure a lot of these guys are dicks. You know, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, I'm sure one of them. Just Don't, was like not into dogs. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, um, is Hawaii is Hawaii red or blue? 
Um, I want to say it typically votes blue, but That's there are a lot more conservative people out there. I was talking to Tristan about this because one of his friends invited me to go hog hunting while I was out there. Um, it was not gay sex, but um, you know, said, he, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> I, I was asking around. I was like, I bet like gun ownership is like really big out here. And Tristan was like, Oh yeah, like there's a lot of like MAGA folks out here, and really? like a lot of big gun gun ownership folks out here. But I also think Kona is more like country. Like there's a lot more like farmland on the Big mm, Island. Mm. You know, um, I mean, just from what I get, I've only been there once. I don't fucking. I'm not the foremost expert. Were there, on it were by there any big means. waves? Were there Kona big waves? Yeah. So. The uh, like day one, Tristan takes us to this beach called Magic Beach or Magic Sands Beach or something like that. My and um, yeah, beach. and Tristan gets in it and he's just fine, which is great for him because he's like an excellent swimmer in person and all around uh, man. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but me and Megan get in and she immediately like loses her glasses and like falls over. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, this is a little, rip, a little rip out into those. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, uh, I am like watching some of this stuff unfold and I start drifting out a little bit. But the thing about this beach in particular is that there, it's like the ground is like a thin layer of sand that sets on like hard rock and the ground floor varies in levels a lot, right? Like like cliff edges, so it's you know? Volcanic rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, you stand up and you think you're kind of just fine. And then, like, all of a sudden, if you go out a little bit in any direction, like, the ground floor can just quickly become, like, a right. cliff for a bit. Wonderful. And then you're standing. I mean, not like a large cliff, but you know what I mean? Like, hard rock, like that. Um, so... I'm watching some of this unfold and, you know, some people start to struggle a little bit and then slowly the waves get higher and higher and higher. And it gets to the point where I'm getting picked up like 10 feet in the air by these waves and like thrown back down into the water. And at first I'm like, this is kind of fun. You know what I mean? I'm like, this This is is kind of like a fun thing. But then I get pushed out far enough to where like I start landing on rock. Like I start getting picked up in the air and like thrown down like on rocks and my knee got like really fucking bruised because I just didn't know how to handle it. And I kept slamming my knee Ugh. on these like cliff rocks and mm. I had to just swim out. I was fine. Um, if I would have stayed in there longer, maybe I would have been fine, but I probably wouldn't have. I just I, I realized in that yeah, moment yeah. that I was not built. I, I did not prepare for the beach. Um, later in the trip, we went to Tristan took us to a calmer beach, which was incredibly nice. I couldn't figure out whether or not I wanted to say incredible or incredibly. So that's why you had that. Weird, uh, yeah, incredibly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm bringing this up because, um, you remember why started, you so, remember why uh, it's so what easy. Was I why? Talking about just yeah. a moment ago. Yeah. You were talking about the beach. Your your knee knees. Against, yeah, yeah. There's and something Tristan in was there. And Tristan Megan was, was there, probably there. And he pointed and laughed. And he pointed and laughed. Megan was there. The 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 Megan was there. The the, the MAGA lady was somewhere in proximity. And, yep. Yeah, she was around. You weren't prepared for the water. You weren't prepared for the water. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know. It was while I was in the other beach where I realized that I have not swam at a beach as an adult in my life until that moment. Really? I, yeah, I guess um, I haven't either. I swam in the beach a lot as a kid, right? Because I had grandparents in Massachusetts, and that's where I was Classic. born. And then living Isn't that in where Hammond Mar- is. What yeah, you dumb fucking Hammond Asset? Oh, where's that? Um, there's a lot of places in Massachusetts that end with Hassett. So I'm I, looking this up. Go ahead. But um, and then in Maryland too, there were some beaches I would drive no, through. I so I swam a lot in beaches as a kid. I just it was in that moment that I realized, like, okay, I might know how to swim in like a pool but I am like so out of my element, like battling yeah, yeah. waves. And um, yeah, I was, I was, a, I was a little bitch for a bit. That's fine. Want to hear about, want to hear a little bitch shit. I haven't been to a beach either. I was supposed to go to one, but it didn't work out. You want to go uh, to the beach? We do. I was going to say, that's crazy. I, 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 my brain wanted me to say CNS, but sorry, no, I was trying to say CNS, but my brain said CAG crew plays when you said that. I don't know why the <laughs> fuck I went to that. Um, Bro, you're dumb. But uh, I was supposed to go to beach and never did. Uh, and you know what I'm doing to Friday or Saturday that I haven't done since I was. He's going to a beach. No, I haven't done since I was. Hug your dad. 
Kind of actually, but no, uh, haven't done since I was what, 18, 18 or 19 is flying a plane, uh, getting it, not flying a plane, uh, getting on a plane. I, I'm you taking a flight on a plane since I, for 10, like years, 10 years about where are you uh, going? North Carolina, North Carolina. Yeehaw. And I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do when I walk in that building. I'll be honest with you. I bought the ticket. The air pen. Yeah. Ben, let's go to Japan next year. No. <laughs> Why not? Do you like fish, Zach? Um, yeah. You know, what so are you, another, a gay fish? <laughs> that was another interesting part of the trip is like, despite me growing up like fishing and swimming and shit, uh, my mom doesn't like fish and she was the one cooking for me growing up. So I just grew up not liking fish. So as an adult, Sorry. I've been trying more. I've been trying more fish. And it's just, it's more of a texture thing. It's like a texture thing. I'm trying to like get over, but I did try a bunch of fish in Hawaii. I had Mahi Mahi. I had Ono, which I eventually learned was a Wahoo, which I eventually learned is also another name for a mackerel. So they just upsold me on mackerel. Tristan right. made me try some calamari. Uh, I tried a scallop and you didn't hate it. I didn't hate any of it. Again, it's just more of a texture thing. I was like, eh. yeah, I, 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 but I did like it. I liked all of it. I'm a big seafood guy, bro. I love seafood. I like I seafood, seafood and then I eat it. Dude, you've been to Cape Cod, I'm sure. Um, I've <laughs> driven a boat around it. And then funny enough, one of my friend's new girlfriends uh, is from Cape Cod. So I'm probably going to see her at some point. Um, C- Cape Cod is awesome because they have a bunch of fried fish and fried seafood. It's so fucking good, dude. It's so <laughs> fucking oh. good. Um, Lobster. She just goes. Sean, this whole podcast has just been going. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, no, no. no. Um, I got nothing. Th- left. I, this isn't an invite, <laughs> but I might be trying to go back to Boston later this year. If you, I'll yeah. be around. Haley and I, I might be moving closer to Boston, dude. I was. Say, I was going to say. I won't say what town, but Boston. But no, no, we can't afford. Bo- uh, fuck! If I could afford Boston, I wouldn't even be on this podcast, brother. I'd be jacking off with dollar bills. <laughs> Is it really? I didn't know it was really expensive. I think it actually did. Know well, that. One of my I friends know. lives like in in Boston. But to live in Boston yeah. is is fucking insane. I mean, not. I don't want to like. It's insane. It's it, it, like yeah. Uh, my 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 friend that lives in Boston makes a good bit of money, and then my yeah. grandparents are still out there too. Dude, Zach, Zach, Dude, you know we ben. didn't put on. You know we didn't put on our. Let's CMS go to Japan. List? That's we can do that. You know, we didn't put on our CNS list for season two. What? What? The massage. That's like the one the oh. one thing. That's the one Sean, thing. We're going to rely on you for some CNS stuff. Is that okay? What? I wish I could contribute more to your guys' stuff because I feel I do feel. Wait, wait. Okay. Repeat well, what you said because you were quite you, you were muted for like the first second that you said. I don't me? know. Yeah. Oh, I I would love to contribute anything you guys want me to. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Um. We need you to again. I guess there's an idea where you massage us and we do yeah, fake yeah. chiropractic well, stuff. Can I? Can I? Do, can I? I. Well, you finish your thing. Finish your thing. Well, I had a few ideas that re- revolved around needing an outside party to come up with questions that were not for Ben and I, uh, and potentially you could assist with that. Yeah, I had. I had an idea. I don't, I don't know if I should spoil anything we'll I, we should probably out. just avoid Sense, do, you, do you say it but we'll censor it and then and then trunk can react without saying what it is oh uh let me go to video ideas i do know that like my idea for the next in real life podcast was like a <laughs> where we would kind of like do a <laughs> style like with i'll bring like a full suit and tie that would be fun as fuck yes and then you could do like uh they could be <laughs> if you want or they could be like but like mm. it's all formatted like a that was an idea I had. And then there's stuff like um, I guess Ben could come up with questions, but the one would probably need someone to come up with questions. Um, stuff like we could talk about it later. I don't want to take yeah. too much time with this. That'd be fun. Yeah, I, I, I want to get more than Sean in on a few of our videos, but it depends okay. on where there's well, space. We, we we need to talk about that outside of the I, show, I, had, so. I had originally wanted to to like force myself to do stand up, but I had a series of panic attacks in the last like month and a half, and I just prepared pussy. <laughs> pussy. And then I'm, gonna use, I'm gonna use that as an excuse not to do anything. Yeah, hey, tell us about you. Speaking of that, are, is that part of your updates? Which part? <laughs> Which? Panic attacks. 
Uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. So I mean, I can, I can good talk, segue, I can good talk segue into your, yeah. Your if, you're, if you're actually interested in that. Yes, but, I am. Um, all of it. Uh, all of it, dude. I yeah, don't even know you, you, you seem to be very busy. We don't talk yeah. as much as we used to, which is fine. Um, but actually, it's better than fine. <laughs> Sean, we should talk more. <laughs> um, yeah, we should. We should. So, actually, I, I, I'll just say this. Uh, this is not related to Ben, per se, because I feel like Ben... Okay, I don't know how to put this. Uh, Ben's ugly. Fucking sucks. <laughs> I'm purposely avoiding no, only Ben. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, so with Ben, I can like, like I, I don't ever feel obligated to like do something for Ben. And not that I feel obligated to do anything for Zach or Tristan, but like I do feel like, I feel like everyone, Tristan, Zach, and Ben, like do a lot. Like even like Evan, even like Evan and, um, why well, Evan? I mean, like, Ryan has a real job and Barney has a real job. Evan has a real job, but Evan does content creation. Anyway, long story short, I feel inadequate with respect to, like, creativity, and I'm also very flaky. So I constantly feel like, well, I don't want to bother. Like, I can bother Ben because I know Ben literally is... Like, I assume Ben just assumes that I'm just going to be retarded whatever we talk, which is is nice and fine, and it it takes a lot of stress out of. But, like... um, like one of the main reasons they haven't been on the podcast is because I'm like, oh, they're doing stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, I feel like I would just sit here and do nothing. Yeah, it's it's and, it's, it's bold of you to assume that we're doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. but, but I, I you you and Ethan have two very different views on what we yeah. do on this show. One of them uh, actively no. is like, why I mean, do you want? Like, why are you doing this? Please quit. No, and you were no, like, no. you're doing very important well, like, stuff let, right let, now. Let me just be very clear. I actually agree with Ethan. <laughs> but, but you should I, stop doing this. I think you should keep doing it. I do think. Um, I think what I'm talking about is I get. Ve- I'm a very jealous person with respect to, uh, like emotional states. So I get like I'm not jealous of. I wouldn't say that I'm jealous of Ben hitting like a hundred thousand views, but I'm jealous of the fact that I would say that I'm very jealous of Ben actually being able to finish the El- Elden Ring video. And so, likewise, uh, like the editing on this stuff that you guys do is really fucking cool. Like, it's still, heavy. I I would even. Well, yeah, but you do the shorts. Yeah. Have yeah. And, seen, are there many of them these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it could it could very well be that I'm inflating everyone else in my head. Like that could be like a. But I'm also not. I mean, I feel this. I feel very similar. Not to like invalidate what you're going through but i feel much similarly right now where i feel like you know all my friends around me are doing really creative stuff that i wish i had like a hand in and like i'm at work doing creative stuff but i feel like everyone else around me is like in their own little pocket doing creative stuff and i'm just trying to still carve out like a lane somewhere in there and then, you know, I go here and I'm, I'm, I'm funny on this. I hope sometimes I'm not, to, you know, You're very but, funny. and then occasionally I'll make shorts. I'm just going to focus more on the main shorts. I think is the thing going on right now. Um, but then even then I kind of do a few of them and I'm like, okay, what now? You know what I mean? And so yeah. I'm just like, you know, a lot of my time is being spent in like little places. I don't feel like truly dedicated to anything right now. And that's kind of an issue, you know, like yeah. I would rather, be dedicated to like freelance work that I could make money or like something yeah. that is more creatively fulfilling. Not to say that this isn't, but just like, okay, I'll do this for like a couple hours and then I'll get bored of it. And then like, I'll go just spend time with like seven different groups of people. And then I'll like play a video game and then I'll be like lazy for a day. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like creatively fulfillment. Feel, You're in creative I, fulfillment, bro. That's what you need. You, you you know this about me too. I operate in like waves, right? Like I'll have like a couple months where I'm just like, you cannot stop me. I'm just doing whatever I can do. And then I, just some, a period of time where I'm not. And right now I just feel like I'm kind of looking for the thing. And, and this is still going on and it's great too, but that's kind of why I'm like, okay, maybe I could get more in the CNS again for a moment, but I don't know. I feel like it relies on collaboration from you on the same time. And then I'm just like, okay, well, I should be doing something for myself, but what is that? I have no clue. Dude, Every now and Zach, then I get I an a, idea and then I'm like, I'm not interested in that at all. I just had a content thought and the, it might not it be, it might uh, yeah, not be something. Get naked. Here. I have two content thoughts for you. Uh, <laughs> first one is get naked. Second one is, um, 
And this is the, I was thinking what content would fit Zach? What does he do very well? Yap, right? Great. Podcast podcast is a good place for you to yap, obviously. But if you have stories that are funny enough that you can tell and you can make them concise and you can, if there's something that you want to let the internet know about, I could totally. That's the thing is I don't want any of my personal life on the internet too is the problem. I'm very weird about putting my personal life. But like there. The, like I do the, it sometimes for the sake of this show, but even then it's like none of my work should I'd ever no, I know, say I'm here. No, I know, but I'm saying, but like the, like the, that, the, if you, if you told that story, here's, here's, here's my, my actual, like in the weeds kind of content for you. I was like, oh, why doesn't he just either between either stock Im- images or stock footage or AI images, just tell a story and have a, a, a picture on the screen that's relevant to the thing because and, and then oh, to give it a, give it like a, give those it. TikToks I play sometimes where it's just random story gibberish. Yeah, or you, uh, yeah, I mean the shit like that. I could I could totally see your yapping ass do something like that and do it very well. But um, I get that you know. Should I start a meme page? On what? On fucking nine gag? The yapping oh. like AI voiceover meme page. Oh. On gibberish. TikTok? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, I mean, as long as you, <laughs> as long as you're know. talking within the first fucking millisecond, you'll be good. I had like again, occasion like I don't know any of the ideas I have for content. I'm just so uninterested in. Tristan and I were doing poker live streams for a minute, and I was like, "Oh, I know nothing about poker. I'm gonna That's learn." Really, those were really fun to watch. I will say, I was like, "I'm gonna learn poker in these live streams, and then I'm going to." There you go. Yeah. My, my, okay. Here, here, here was my goal. At the time, I was like someone interested in poker, but I didn't really like know the ins and outs of it. So I was like, Tristan wants to play poker with me. Let's just stream a bunch of poker and then I'll just take some highlights from it and then I'll make a video about like learning poker, like from noob to pro. And then I thought of like maybe it's like trying every online poker site or something and that would culminate in like a poker night while I'm out there in Hawaii. But just it all kind of fell through. Yeah, and now I'm and now I'm just like I've like learned enough to where I just I just go on the same website now and play it privately for yeah. like once a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so <laughs> now I'm like I don't know. I kind of fell out of love with that video. And then I was thinking earlier in this week, I there was like um at work there was like a it's like Spirit Week. They treat it like high school. It's great. And one of the days was Sports Day, and I wore my Sean Taylor jersey to work. If you're unfamiliar, he's like a football player from the 2000s. That was like one of my heroes growing up, but he was shot, killed, and murdered um, before his career could ever, like you know, become like that Hall of Fame caliber level. Yeah. And I was but thinking he got about shot before he got his shot. Yeah. I mean, he got his shot. He played like th- three to four years in the NFL. You know what I mean? Like he was very incredibly oh, so he, good. But yeah, I'm sorry, whatever. So he got but a like, bullet you know, in his he big didn't... dome before he was in the big dome. Yeah, I mean, like he never like won a Super Bowl or anything like that. But so. You know, in the modern day conversations, like whenever his name gets brought up, like the people that know him put some respect on the name. But a lot of people just don't know his name. But to me, he's like a legend. He's like my like favorite greatest of all time. And I was thinking, like, what if I did a video on like how that's more meaningful than if he was like some, you know what I mean? Like a story about like, okay, here's the. Yeah, here's this guy. Here's why he was great. Here's some like why he was very meaningful to me. But then almost how it's kind of beautiful how like there's no because like, with a lot of the people that are like the greatest of all time at what they do, there's always some like debate. There's always some like slander always. around it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like there's always going to be contrarians and shit. Not to say that it was a good thing he was murdered. I would never like try to waltz around that point. But, you know, he does exist in this world where like if you know about him, like, he, you know, you put some respect, you know what I mean? Like you kind of like, if you're in the know, you know, and if you're not like, there's no like of that contrarian yeah. bullshit. And then also he was just the type of person too, that like just put in like a fuck ton of work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like someone, when I think of like work ethic, like his name pops up in my mind as to like how he would approach like learning things and like working hard. And so I just thought, like, maybe there's, like, some video idea in there. And then I thought about it more, and I'm like, I don't want to make a fucking football video. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'll have, like, well, that thought for, like, two days where I'm like, wow, 
Like, this is like something that's really meaningful to me. And then I'll just like two days later be like, it's kind of fucking gay though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, so, yeah, you know, like, you like, know, like Chris, I don't know. Uh, not Tristan. Oh, Isaiah, Mr. Isaiah Fitzhugh made that one video on that channel that he really likes. And that, that channel, that video was great. Obviously this is a different topic than, a, you know, this is a YouTuber. I don't making know what you're YouTube talking content. about. Really? Isaiah made a, made a video on what he made a video on his on one of his on his side channel. Uh, now on the great uh, the actual great Isaiah uh, side channel because he changed the original from Scribbly, great Isaiah yeah. to Scribbly. Now and he, he got hacked, right? Isaiah. No, different. I don't think that's why, but it yeah, didn't around the same too. time. But he made a video about uh, I don't even remember what it was. I watched it so long ago, but it was a video of a YouTube channel that he really liked. That had like some like like animation and like canon to it and all that stuff and it was it's really I think I would video. make amazing video essays again I just there's not really much in this world that I'm like truly interested in, which sounds like a cop out but you like you can make a video just, called the 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 boy with the boy with the issues, the boy with the issues and then you just, just it's just a picture of me in the thumbnail like that and then you can like get, you can get like an hour and a half out of that. Yeah. Well, I had or that like moment too. When we, I can be like your Chris Chan. Yeah. Yeah. Like Chris your mother. Chan. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm well, talking about. No. I, um, I, I thought, I thought for a moment too, though, like when we, when we did the Google map stuff and I was just reviewing stuff in Google maps, I was like, this would be a fun YouTube channel where it's like people just searching up their little yeah. town, like places yeah. to eat in your little town would find my video where it's just like reviewing the food from this town without actually eating there. And it's just me roasting everything on Google maps. Right. Then I'm just, I don't know. Uh, one day I'll sit down and make something. I just, you know. Dude, you you got all the ideas in the world. But hey, first we got to deal with CNS season two and season two of the entirety of everything. Yes. <coughs> we we do need to find a time to go over that because I will yeah. spend my money on other stuff before it goes to CNS if we don't act on it. Yeah. I just burped and okay? I hurt my chest. Okay. Ethan, add that to the clip. Add and, that or, to the Or reel. you could add that to the, the, the boy with the, the issues. <laughs> yeah, the boy with the issues video. Yeah. What'd you say? Is, you said Ethan, add that to the clip? Ethan he's been... That? He, he, he's been coming on the show and creating compilations of all of Ben's issues and putting oh, okay. it back to him. Isn't that fucked up? No, that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, so... So I'm panic? sorry to like you... make this just a super serious thing. Like I just can't be. No, productive. I think it's I think it's good to be super serious sometimes. I just I didn't want to bring the. That's actually a thought that I have all the time. Is that like, uh, I I relate pretty heavily to the idea of like having a video idea and then waking up and being like, yeah, but that that was gay, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? just be like, but that that makes me feel like I should just do more freelance work and just yeah, make some money. Yeah. Um. I mean, so I've actually had some ideas that I've actually been scripting out some like long form stuff. Um, and I also have some ideas for actual content going forward, but a little thing happened where I was, you know, you've heard of quiet quitting, right? Yeah. Well, 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 was, yeah. All the kids are, are talking right. about it. Yeah. So, so I was quiet fired from my restaurant. And so I had to find a new job, but I had like three or four weeks where wait, I wait, just wait. wasn't. No, no, no. Explain that. What does quiet fired mean? I don't know what that means. It I know that, someone that's it, been quiet fired. It means that my general manager stopped giving me hours. So actually, this was this was kind of illegal, but I ended up getting a job anyway. So I'm I'm just not going to pursue anything. But my general manager stopped giving me hours for no reason, like no. And I don't. When I say no reason, I mean she would not give me a reason. Like I I would ask her like, did I say something wrong? Did I like, you know, did I say you know, did I say something? Did I do something wrong? And she'd be like, no, you haven't done anything wrong. She would just tell me to my face, nope, you haven't done is, anything wrong. Is it, is, a, is it Massachusetts a fire Wilson? at will state or whatever? Yeah, it's, a, it's an at will state. Yeah. But so here's the thing the, the assistant fire manager, at will. <laughs> no, what is it called? It's like, it's like, it's, it's just at will called, employment. It's at will. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but I like the idea of just fire at will, <laughs> like they're going to shoot you. But the thing is, the assistant manager loves me. And it, so at one point, she was like, Do you want to just come in Sunday? You know, uh, Val, I'll just say Val, the GM. Um, Shout out Val. Uh, Val, Shout the out Val. GM, like, did not want me working, but she doesn't work on oh, Wednesdays or Sundays. Don't shout down yeah. Val. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I could just give you her address. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you um, should start an Instagram page. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, 
So the assistant manager texts me like, hey, you know, Val's not in. Do you want to work today? And I was like, fuck yeah, I need my, I was like, I'm looking, I'm, I'm like applying to jobs and shit. And I, I could have gone on unemployment, I think technically, but it takes like a week to process. And then I would have only gone to, you know what I mean? It was just like one of those things where it's just like, it was almost not, well, it doesn't matter. Long story yeah. short. So I went like three weeks without working. I was Ubering during that, but it's, that's a whole lot. That's a whole nother story. So I clock in at 11 to do a double on Sunday. So from 11 to close, which is like 1030 at night. And apparently within a couple minutes, within like five minutes of me clocking in, Val texts the assistant manager and is like, why is Sean working? Which means that she like specifically does not want me work. It's not that we're too slow and we don't have enough hours or, you know, whatever. Cause that's an argument that a lot of uh, people will make at a restaurant. It's like, Oh, it's not busy enough. So we're not putting as many people on the, but she literally was like, why is Sean working? So it's just like, okay, go fuck yourself. You, <laughs> you know, I hope you die. That's crazy that they <laughs> can we hope you die. Val. The, yeah, I do. I that's the official that. stance of this show. Yeah. Is. I hope I, I do hope she dies and not in a video game. I mean, in real life, I hope she gets struck <laughs> by a car. Yeah. Someone um, should, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, I hope she rots. Um, and so I would lock I would, him up. Lock yeah. him up. Lock I, him up. I was out of a job. I really wanted that to be like a recur. Like, that was so funny to me in the moment. It might not have been funny to you guys at all. But to me, I was like, that was a really funny thing. And I was going to keep it going. But now it's gone. What are you talking about? Saying lock, lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him up. Lock him well, now it's a ju- now it doesn't make any sense. Okay, now it's right, gone. Right, I'm right. trying. I'm living in an old moment. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm I, treading I, water. I, I'm walking my life in quicksand. I'm sorry. I, I'm who tried to kill Donald Trump? <laughs> the president. <laughs> of the he looks like. I. When he failed. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that they killed him before he could return. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's like if me if, sending. If, a refund request. <laughs> if I was gonna like, not rendered. If, if I was ever in a position in life where I was gonna like shoot the president or like, yeah, you have to be mentally kill involved. myself. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess I, I mean maybe this is what maybe that's why he wouldn't do what I'm about to suggest. But like, I buy something fun. You know what I mean? Like, like if if you know that your life's over, like I don't know what's something dumb you would spend some money on. Like I don't know. He did that for the I, love of the game, bro. Yeah, he did. Draw, yeah. he did that shit for the love of the game. He had he did oh, not get paid. He wasn't I, even good at the game. Yeah, he wasn't <laughs> even good at the game. Well, his aim was on point. The head turn. If you look at like where he was yeah, aimed yeah. before he turned the head, he was on point. That would have been a, again. He would have still won the 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 election. In yeah, he's for that. That's a dead man. Yeah. Um. Well, we already had one in the office for four years. <laughs> Ayo. 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 <laughs> Hey, you got yep. Figaro behind you. Suck on that, liberals. Anyways. Um, he's right behind you. He's behind the chair. No, he's going. He's going. He's out Figaro of here. Is what, he's out what of here. I was going to say. What was I going to Oh, yeah. Can I go? Can I tell you a bar that hey, I've been Trump thinking about only, recently? Only told about, he, has, he has more to say, I think. No, no. You, I mean, I do, but you can. Well, this is more important. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. Go ahead. I am so, suicidal. It, so, future on the album Dirty Sprite 2 has the song called Rotation and on the chorus Very important. in the chorus he says I just bought all the sodas at the gas station and I think that's such a fun flex that he just went into a gas station and decided to buy all the sodas well, was, yeah. the gas station, was it like an overpriced gas station maybe was it like a sheet pr- honestly pr- probably a Wawa yeah I don't know yeah, Wawa. oh speaking of Wawa their um, lemonade is going to change forever Chick fil A <laughs> fries. Chick fil A got rid of the fries. In Southwest Airline, got rid of open flight seating. In Mexico, got rid of open borders. And if the, yeah, Mexico got rid of uh, Chalupa. If they got rid of Chalupa, I would kill myself. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Chalupa is. Come on, check your body. Get a chimichanga. That's not the song. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think like of a that, lot of fun that, bar. You know, for a while it was that little Teco one. Now it's the I just bought all the sodas at the gas station. Yeah. Sean, continue. You know what? Okay, but can I say this? My favorite no. ad my favorite ad lib is in I Don't Like by Chief Keef. Uh towards the That's end of the, the song. Shit I don't like. Yeah, towards the end of the song, he says something like, 
uh, something like, uh, so basically he's like something to the effect of like I'm fly, and his ad lib is new. Floating off a flat, I might take flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of Chief Keef, there's another one I've been listening to a lot recently. He has this song called Kills, or at least I think it's Kills. As the one that has like the crossword search as the uh, album cover. And um, he says, I got that doinky on me, smoking on that doinky oinky. Smoking doinky oinky, you know I got that doinky on me. <laughs> he got that doinky says, on me, smoking got, on that doinky oinky. He says, oinky? I'm smoking on that doinky oinky, you know I got that doinky on me. That's it. I'm smoking on that doinky oinky, you know I got that doinky on me. That's a, And I think that's so who, fun. Yeah, that? hold that up. Hold that. I'm going to put huh? this in who's guest that? chat, maybe. Chief Keef. Of course, it's fucking Chief Keef, bro. I got that doinky on bro, me, when, smoking when on that like, doinky oinky. When, uh, or no, Happy and Sober. Was it Happy and Sober or Don't Like? Whatever one came first. Um, uh, I think Don't Like is his first yeah. like viral one. Dude, that song I thought but was I hate so being sober. shit. I, well, that, the the, the same, song I think is very funny. Because I can't spell sober. I hate being sober because I can't spell sober. It's like one of my favorites. Dude, that album. Okay, this always strikes me. I think Chief Keef is like younger than me. If not, he's like the same age as me or something. And it blows my mind because that album you're talking about, Sean, those both of those songs are from the same album. And that album came out when he was like 15 or 16. Isn't it 15 years old or something like that in that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 28 right now. Yeah, he's 1995, was... August 15th. August 15th, dude. 14 days. It's his birthday. We should That's my sister's cards. birthday. Bro, I don't care. My birthday. sister shares a birthday with Chief Keith. We can go to Chuck E. Cheese with your sister and Chief Keith. That's a bar. That is a bar. We can go to a bar, too. How old is your sister? He's old enough. Uh, she's two years younger than me, so. What, 13? 16? Yep. <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Uh, 9 11, that's our ages. What? Oh, that's the what, the terrorist attack that killed 3,000 people, allegedly. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, consequentially, it killed more. Oh, Sean's frozen. Oh, what's wrong with him? Fucking pussy. Fucking pussy, dude. Oh, I went to Connecticut in New Jersey. You went to Connecticut. I went to Connecticut. You know what I got? Hey, I'm going to do this bit again. Look what I got. Right. Look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, I got a hair in my finger. What I got. Look what I got. It's Dragon Quest VIII, Journey Not of the Cursed King. Not I know. Even close this to being is what, exactly what happened last time. Journey of the Cursed King. Oh, no. that's, that's the wrong way. Hold on. I have the loose leaf here, Babate, down, downstairs. Make it like a T. Yeah, okay, we get it. This is the near. This I, may, I may as well be Argentinian. Wait, or hold Venezuelan. On. Oh, look, you can do this. I can do this. What are you, a socialist? What if you just swallowed that right now? Why the fuck would I do that? Because it's pretty pricey. Can you read it? Yeah, it says uh, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi, or whatever the fuck. No, don't do it! That was gross. <laughs> what if it ruined it? Don't say that. Oh, there's a hair on it. Uh, oh my gosh! How much is that? Oh, it was one hundred and nine dollars. Uh, I paid. Why is it so expensive? It. Who so knows? The only one. There's only one of them. I don't know. I don't know. Tell Does me this why. complete your collection? Yes. This. Oh. This, oh. This, are these the questions? Yes. This completes. I'm voting for Kamala. This completes my collection Kamala. besides the Japanese uh, one that I can kind of get, but it's a pain in the ass because I have to pay a subscription, but I have to transfer my money to like play Asia or some shit. It's a fucking mess, but go ahead. It's not region locked though. Tr Tristan was getting on my ass about this when I talked to him. Was it yesterday or the other day? It may have been yesterday, but uh, the um, a lot of people on the left I've been seeing are like upset at Donald Trump for mispronouncing the current vice president's name and that hints towards what i'm gonna get at is when she was running against biden i didn't it wasn't a respect thing i wasn't like totally like in the know so i just heard her name and i heard her name pronounced a bunch of different ways and i was like okay well if she's successful i'm sure i'll figure that out then she became mm -hmm. vice president and I had the same issue. And I was like, okay, well, when some time settles, I'm sure like after I hear it a bunch, I'll figure out how to like truly say how to truly say your name. And then Donald Trump 
keep saying this. And so now other people keep saying it wrong. And then some people say it right. And now people are like, it's racist if you get it wrong. And I, I'm not like, frankly, like scared of being called that, but I'm also like just genuinely out of like human nature, just am curious, like how am I actually supposed to say her name? Like, I'm not trying to be a dick about I think anything. It's, I think it's Kamala Harris. Kamala? Not Kamala? Kamala? I'm always calling her Kamala. That's my girl. That's See, a that third sounds, way. See, that sounds racist. Well, that what, sounds what? like you're trying to do the Indian thing. Well, her name is Kamala. Kamala. That's what sounds <laughs> you like weren't doing that. I was not <laughs> doing that. You, just did that. you just did that. That's what I'm Kamala. saying. You just did it. Yeah, you see that Trump racist. clip where he says that she turned black about five that years was ago? That fucking whack. Yeah, uh, to be honest with you. I, He's right. <laughs> I mean, I saw an article that said Donald Trump doesn't understand code switching, but neither does Kamala Harris. Like, if you listen to the way she talks, she'll be talking normally. And then suddenly she's like, girl, I am out here on these streets. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Like, so, don't actually you know what's like funny that. about Kamala Harris is uh, that apparently, apparently she used to be a hoe. That's all I know. I, don't, I, I know like very like base level information, but she used to be a hoe. Our president's going to be a hoe. Well, actually, well, Trump was I'll a say hoe. This, so. I'll, say, I'll say this. For, I have only heard one source on this, so I can't actually say if this is true or not. But I have heard that. So I was always under the impression that she was more like a, a Joe Biden type Democrat. But apparently her voting record is actually more aligned with Bernie Sanders than it is with Joe Biden. I mean, she's like a, a cop. Like she ran on the whole like, uh, yeah, but I, like I mean, cr- in terms, hard on crime stuff. I mean, in terms of like the last couple years of her, not as vice president, but the last couple of years of her congressional period, she voted in line with Bernie Sanders. But she was one of the hardest people. Like that, that was what was interesting about her being the VP pick originally was she was the most outspoken against Biden. Like she was the one in all the debates being she, like, she fuck Biden. About, yeah, she was like, uh, he, I remember I was there when he like didn't want to bust black people in. And I'm like, oh, hot. <laughs> well, you're. I can't, I can't wait to be president. I can't wait to get a new president. Some of my long form content to cycle it back uh, was actually about something similar to what you were talking about. No, we've uh, moved past uh, that. Okay. We don't need to talk about that anymore. Okay. No, uh, just, Kamala joking, Harris continue. being half Indian makes me suspicious. Uh, <laughs> what? Tristan and I came up with a funny name for her too recently. After that, I told I told him about the whole conundrum that I'm in with pronouncing her name and not being racist. And then he was like, "Who cares, dude? Just do what you want to do." And then I said, "Come very- all over my hairy ass." Yeah. And then we just said that all night. Just come all over my hairy hair yeah, ass. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, That's I actually funny. don't mind that, but one thing that did make me uncomfortable genuinely was when during the, the 2020 elections, when people were making or 20, whatever during, yeah, during the 2020 elections, like the people saying Pete Booty Judge, like Ooh, I was just like, okay, made me so crazy. Like, you know, you know, he's like yeah. actually gay, right? Yeah. Like, you know, they I mean? know that's why they're saying it. That's what I'm saying. Like, people, I, like, people, I was, yeah, I don't know. I was just like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. My mom loves I like, Pete. I, I like Pete Booty Judge. Uh, I, I, I like him like debating people like i think he's an excellent communicator um there's some stuff though ride or die. it's it's gonna be hard to prove this in retrospect maybe i could find something but i swear to god when he was running for president if you looked at his platform on his website because i just checked one day just to like read through and see like what his specific policies were he had like mandatory military service listed under his like platform oh, fuck on that his gay. website. Did you say oh, fuck yeah. that gay? Uh guy. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't want you to get in trouble. Also, did you ever see the clip when he was running for president? There was this clip of this like old woman that like voted for him in the primaries. And then the news is like a newscaster asking people like, who did you vote for? And when it was Pete Buttigieg, they'd go like Oh, like, how do you feel about supporting like the first like openly gay president in the United States? And this lady was like, "He's gay." <laughs> like, yeah. She's like, she was like trying to like get her vote back, like yeah. after she was told, bro, fucking. Remember that that John McCain? John McCain had the funniest, one of the funniest. Like, I go to his airport all the time. Second, there you go. Second to uh, Trump's his terminal campaign. John McCain had a great campaign because there'd be people. There would that would have conspiracy theories about Obama because Obama was oh, black yeah. and whatever. And there was the, yeah, there was the there was the lady that was like, I don't I don't trust Obama because he's an Arab. I got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in. I can't trust Obama. 
I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. Oh, yeah. yeah and I'm yeah. like, that's so funny that you're so stupid. That's so funny. Uh, and then uh, 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 well, Trump's still on the whole Kenya thing. I know. But John McCain was like, no, he's not an Arab. He's not an Arab. And he's the lady like, was like, oh, he's, she's not. <laughs> it's like, you're so fucking dumb. Uh, How dumb I, can I you gotta, be? Yeah, I got to say, there was like, um, there was this idea like maybe 10 years ago that, oh, not 10 years ago, fuck, like 15 years ago. Because 10 years ago was 2016, basically. That's crazy, right? That was crazy. Math, bro. That was crazy. Isn't that like kind of cringe? That is kind um, of cringe. But like 15, 15, 20 years ago when we were kids, um, the Republican Party still had like pretty abhorrent views. Um, but they were ideological. But they were ideologically based and they were like pretty firm about how they treated, like they were just like, like, okay, um, like Mitch McConnell was always a piece of shit. Like he literally said when Obama was elected, he literally was like, our goal as Republicans is to make sure he doesn't get a second term. So he literally was like, fuck it. So that's bad. So that was like the turning point. But for a long time, Republicans had this opinion of like, yeah, we disagree with Democrats. We know we're right. But they weren't like, I mean, they were pieces of shit to gay people for sure. You know what I mean? But like. They so were Democrats like, until you yeah, know, I agree. Too I much mean, earlier uh, than that, uh, like Clinton, Biden was op- Yeah, Biden and Hillary Clinton. You can both find yeah, clips of them in the 2000s speaking against same-sex marriage. So. Yeah, yeah, which is crazy, and you know, whatever. I saw a clip recently too uh, uh, during the Biden Obama debate when uh, Joe Biden was running against Barack Obama for the original 2008 nomination. Um, <clears throat> Joe Biden subtly implied during a debate that Barack Obama was gay Mm -hmm. (laughs) like to the crowd which is funny because apparently like Obama went to Kenya and got an AIDS test or something and um, uh, because he went to Kenya where like the mosquito transmission or whatever and um, he uh, Joe Biden like called him out or I, I don't I don't have the specific quote but I'm sure I could find you the clip but it was it was funny to just hear him like subtly imply that Obama was gay in like a debate. I know Barack got tested for AIDS. That was like a debate tactic he used in 2008. Isn't that so insane? That's so insane. I I, I just I I don't believe anything happened before like 2015. I just don't. I think yeah. it's like a different. But then timeline. Biden has the story it. now in the 1950s where he's like, "Oh, I saw two men kissing in Delaware, and my dad told me it was okay." But it's like maybe I don't know. But that's pretty early for. I just I just found the story. ObamaWhiteHouse.archives.gov. During a visit to Kenya in 2006, then Senator Barack Obama and his wife Michelle highlighted the importance of HIV testing by getting tested at a local clinic themselves. So they only got tested to show that it's safe to get tested. Well, oh, mm. Michelle Obama's a man. Don't forget. So, <laughs> well, that was kind of like literally like what, but like Biden was not only implying that Obama was a gay, but Michelle was a man before anyone fucking w- before that was like a mainstream. You know, Biden mainstream, used to be funny as fuck. I feel like Biden. Remember when Biden would like no. just like swear like at, just at as a, as if the VP would just be like. Uh, what, what did he say that the very early on into the uh, Obama's presidency, he was like, fuck him up out there or some shit like that. Like very clearly on a microphone. It's just like, I don't know. I, just, I used I to be a strong man. He used to be a strong man for sure. Now, now you see used that picture be. of him that you always say that I look like. Oh yeah. 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 That's pretty good. I, I agree. I don't disagree. Gonna, I'm going to microwave some food. I'll be right back. Dude. <sighs> Well, then I, I, need to, I need to hear you talk about more content when you get back, okay? Yeah, I need sure, you I to finish that. What if I, I just, what if I just had like an erect penis? Dude, he's just riffing. <laughs> just riffing. He sweet. wouldn't have one. He wouldn't have one. Just riffing. Yeah, he's a <laughs> biological woman. <laughs> Speaking of the Olympics, I have nothing to say about the Olympics. I just know that. Oh uh, yeah, have you seen all right the fucking now. trans shit yeah. with the Olympics right now? Yeah, I just, I just know that's controversial. I don't know. I even it's know. fucking dumb. I don't, I don't, it's so fucking dumb. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Know, I don't have like a def- the definitive opinion because I don't care to know the facts. So, yeah, that's not happening. It, I have somewhat of an opinion, but frankly, I'm kind of tired of hearing about it. Yeah, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. I just <clears throat> in in general, if you don't know how you feel about trans women in sports, or you know. If you do know how you feel and it's strong, it's strongly one way or another. I just don't think it should affect like laws on how normal people live their lives. Yes. That's it. That's all I want to say. Yeah. Aside from that, y'all can keep running your mouths about shit. I don't have a place Speaking to talk that, on it. 
Twitter X is just call horrible. It y now. It's just a fuck Elon. Yeah. Horrible, dude. Like, it's only gotten progressively it's worse. It's like truth social, but for like Elon's little fucking conservative cuck dick cum party. Yeah, at least there's still like a pocket of people like me on there you Dude, know, that I can follow. I, I, I'll be, I have a, listen to this. I have a Pokemon Twitter. I only follow for Pokemon updates. I get, I have, I get notified. Sometimes for I get updates. on the regurgitated account and it's just a bunch of anime shit. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? I don't, I wasn't even logged into the the regurgitated since I got my new phone. I haven't been logged into the regurgitated one. Not that I even really was using it before, but at one point it was all OnlyFans, all OnlyFans. I don't, I don't, I don't engage. I don't look. I it was just all OnlyFans. It was all the way down. You know, it was either engagement bait or just fucking just straight up. You know, people posting whatever. Okay, whatever. They 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 cracked down on that. Now it's all. All conservative, like Matt Trans Wallace shit. type shit, like like Nick Merckx is saying that like LGBT people are fucking crazy or whatever they whatever the hell he's talking about. I am scrolling through the regurgitated feed right now, and it is just all conservative politics. So maybe you're just getting. I've just cultivated a following list for long enough to where I guess I'm a little bit you know sheltered in it. But it's actually so mind numbing. It's so fucking mind numbing. It's like it's a, just a bunch of conspiracy theories, and they're and uh, uh, these fucking big conservative, whatever you want to call them, people talking about like lizard eyes and stuff. It's like, bro, it's 2024. It's not like 2011 anymore. Like, no, the lizard eye stuff is good. That's the conspiracy stuff I miss. I hate this new <laughs> shit that has actual real world complications. That's, that's true. Um, that's true. Real world uh, effects. Like I hate that. Like all the shit right now. It's so like not true or maybe it's like a small truth that's being blown out and is going to affect way more people than it ever should. But the old conspiracies used to be like, like used to be like um, libertarian people that'd be like defund the IRS. And it's like just such an unrealistic like <laughs> opinion that it's like, yeah, fuck it, buddy. Like, yeah, yeah defund the IRS. It'd be like, you know, George Bush and Barack Obama are reptilians. And it's like, I, cool. I, I see what Sweet. you're like, saying. I miss that. Like, I want the whole Antichrist stuff to come back. I see what I, I do see what you're saying. I would, I'm just mad how dumb people are. That's kind of what my thing is. Like, everybody on Twitter is so stupid, dude. Like, super, more, dumb the more dumb than they've ever been. More dumb than they have ever been. Well, they're just confidently dumber now, too, because then now they have a place where they're all just with each other and they have forever. a guy and they have a guy that was president for four years that is, that'll be that'll yeah, just like thumbs up all of them what they're saying it's fucking insane and they're just fucking hateful and spiteful and now that's just they're gonna just be the mob now you know it's it's out of this fucking world they hated the mob so much that they made their own mob and now everyone has to deal with two fucking competing mobs you know yeah forever no one can just have a normal opinion or no one can be normal and have just a lot of opinions, some of which are extreme, some of which are not, some of which are on whichever side. Like that's like a normal thing for a person to be. Yeah. But you can't just exist in that world now. I mean, everyone's always been, I mean, it's like, like such a classic trope of like, oh, I guess you have to pick a side, team politics, blah, 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 blah. Like we've been saying that forever. But I feel like especially right now, it's like, well, I guess I can't talk about any of my opinions because – fucking some giant giant pain in the ass group of people are going to make me feel like I'm having the worst day of my fucking life for it. You know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's, it's just, if I, we're all fucking, I don't know. <laughs> I was going to make a joke where I was like, if you feel like, you know, that your life couldn't get any better and you should just end it. I don't know. Maybe you're right. <laughs> but but please don't please that is clear as you're, you're in your suicidal up. era lock me your up suicidal arc um suicidal era yeah we should can we gla glamorize that can we glorify you want to glorify suicide yeah or unaligning oneself it. yeah i hate that oh yeah i think i talked about this a long time ago too that's another thing that annoys me is like readjusting your language for the algorithm i'll censor like bad words sometimes but this whole like cutesy way of talking about killing yourself and other people of unaliving like i hate that we have like a trend of like 
making it cute to talk about and, like and suicide YouTube or something. Never figure like, out that they mean it, the same thing or whoever. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> like yeah, clearly the subject matter is the same thing. Yeah, and I think yeah, like whatever social media platform you're using is going to be smart enough to figure that out. You know what I mean? It's Probably. like I think when you scroll on TikTok at the search bar at the top, it tells you the topic. Of yeah. like what the video is about. Mm-hmm. Like if we upload a Pokemon video up at the search bar, it's gonna say like Pokemon stats or something like that. Yeah. So when you yeah. talk about unaliving or unaliving yourself or like uh, there's other examples of this too. Like the the TikTok knows what you're talking about. It's if mm-hmm. it's not a baby, it's even more smarter than you about it. So just say it. Just say the fucking words that you mean. Or don't. Just like, I don't know. It's yeah, weird. I just hate that we found cutesy fucking ways of saying it. A trigger warning. I'm going to unalive myself. I agree. I yeah, agree. Trigger warning. Please put a trigger warning before this section of the video, actually. <laughs> I agree completely. And what pissed me off about this was like a year ago, I saw someone like the, instead of saying suicide, they wrote sewer slide. Sewer slide is I was, so annoying. I was like, I was like, that literally is worse to me. <laughs> if someone was like, yeah, he committed suicide. That's so disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Compared to sewer slide is fucking insane. That's insane. I was like, you should kill yourself. You should commit yeah, suicide. You should, you should commit there's, suicide. And there's kill a yourself. lot of parts of this episode that could be taken out of context could be horrible. Yeah. <laughs> could be absolutely. I mean, yeah. In context, kept telling someone to kill themselves, except for Val, she should kill herself. Um, <laughs> we'll find her too. I know someone yeah. that has everyone's address, so we'll find her and we'll kill her. Um, ben, please post a picture of her dead body on screen right now. All right, I can do that. I can yeah. find one. Let me just, just, let me just, just a picture. Roblox character, like the <laughs> yeah. Halo no, no. Three guy. I mean, I got the picture, <laughs> dude. Roblox is so fun. Speaking of that, do you guys want to play Roblox later? No, that's part of the content plan, dude. Bro, Sean, or, uh, uh, Zach, it's, I was playing. It was me, Alexis, Joe, uh, 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 Brian, and Sean here. Joe, Mama, Joe, Mama. We're all playing Roblox. You're having a fun little Great. stream. Oh, I saw your clip. There's that, yeah. Um, we were all having a great time. Just this is this is you know an hour ago. Mm-hmm. We're all trying to play games together. All trying to group up in a game together. And Sean is f- going fucking nonverbal playing Roblox chess. He won't like. I'm like we're like all right, Sean, where are you? And he'll and he just will be like, huh? And he won't respond because he's like locked your guitar? in playing chess. I'll just move my camera. This is a bass, too. My, I, my guitar's in the other room. Not, oh. to get, not to get pedantic. Look at this fucking beautiful bass, dude. That is pretty sick. Bro, remember when he used to play... Uh, he used to fucking just... Yeah, you, you actually, he did it on the podcast. You just fucking load that shit up and just start bing bong, bing, bing bong, bing bong. Okay, drum. Huh? Oh, I'm, bing I'm bong, bing bong. I see what you're saying, Zach. You're saying I sounded like Trump because he went bing bong. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. Bing what did you say? What was the actual quote? Grab him by the pussy. Not that quote. Different quote. Do you think there's a guy out there who like is voting Trump purely on the bing bong thing still? He like, heard bing bong and years he was and like, years I later, love like that. Ten years later, yeah. he's like, bing bong, that's pretty good. When was that? Like, like, 20- really? You don't want to vote for the bing bong guy? 2015 maybe? He said that? Probably. Bing bong. Bing bong. Yeah, Obama. Obama. Um, right, Soda. Let's move away from politics. Um, I'm a tier list, dude. I don't, I don't have another tier list. I couldn't think of one. What do you mean you don't have another? You did 100 women and 100 black people. Go to Uwu Fufu and just click on anything. Is that what you want from me? I don't know. I wanted to do a video in line with... Have you guys seen that video of the, a woman who posted... She was just sitting in the park and the title was like, I have, I'm 30 and have no friends or something like that. Have you seen that video? No. Maybe. I saw like an older version of that where like this guy posted a video similarly and he got a lot of love. This was years ago. <laughs> if I wanted, if I, I used to love the idea of vlogging, just showing off my I, life. And then I realized all I do is play Suica. Go ahead. I was going to say, I conceptually Let's like go to Japan. Video. This is what I was talking about. She's she's 21 and not 30. Next year, I'm going to genuinely consider it. You should come. Um, if you actually, Japan. if you unironically, and I, I know you're talking to Ben, but I'm thinking of... <laughs> you're not um, invited. I'm thinking of... 
So this year is fucked. Next year, is gonna be, <laughs> yeah. Next year is going to be fucked because I I'm counting it as like an earning phase. I'm thinking in the next like three years I should I should be. I'm my planning on my plan is that in the next four to five four to six years, i.e., uh, three to five years starting next year, uh, that I should be pretty well set up to ha- to have some good money, but. So in four to six years, I'm expecting to. Are you going to get in trouble for massaging us on camera? No, no, no. Um, it's only technically illegal if I accept payment for massage. What if I get you burger? But, but but this (laughs) this is is part of the update. Uh, He brings up a good point. Don't pussyfoot around this issue. What if he gets you burger? Oh, technically, um, so it's illegal. Great. I'm not allowed to accept any form of compensation for a massage. You'll have to starve. You can't um, eat while you're at my place for. Massage. Yeah, technically speaking, technically speaking, the fact that you said the massage will be part of content means that if I'm going there and you do anything for me, you know, in recompense for content, that's, like that's, it's I'm, that's I'm cool with that. That's great with me. Yeah, breaking but, the law, but, breaking but, the law. But, but that is to say, I am certified in Massachusetts as a manual stretch assistant. So a, a manual stretch. Oh. So I can stretch you guys. Legally. Oh, buddy. I don't, how are we going to get you. massaged? We don't have a massage table. Are you? Are you going to bring your massage table to oh, Cleveland? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that it on the airplane. Great. I'll put it on the airplane. You don't, you don't think that security is going to have a problem with you bringing a fucking massage table? Or you put it on the like little rotator belt, right? They won't let me bring my shampoo, dude. It's a table. <laughs> my shampoo. I can't bring my shampoo to, uh, to North Carolina. It wouldn't let me bring my fucking pocket tool. My multi tool. Am I going to be able to bring my, my, my nameless Pepsid? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'll krill myself. I'll, 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 I'll analyze myself. Sewer, I'll, I'll, get a sewer slide. I'll commit sewer slide if I cannot bring my Pepsid. Sean, you're going to see me in person soon. Yeah, you're like 5'4", right? Holy, yeah, I'm holy like two shit. one. I have just realized this has never happened. Mm-hmm. It's only yeah. been really Brian, huh? About obviously and Alexis. Yeah, I've only met I've only met you, Brian, and Alexis. Yeah, Tristan. How does it what are your expectations in meeting me? I mean, I've already, I've already me. seen you, so you're way better looking than Ben. And um that's all I need to know. But all he needs is a good looking guy and he can do anything. And I could stretch. He can stretch. He can yoink. He can bop it. You don't have any like concerns or perhaps fears about well, seeing actually, me. Actually, and I will tell you, Zach flesh. thought that I was going to rape him the first time he came here. <laughs> I like how his mic cut out. It just said Zach thought I was going to rape him, and then his <laughs> mic just cuts out for me. <laughs> yeah, it cut out for me too. No, um, I mean I've already sexually assaulted plenty of men, so I'm not worried about. It. <laughs> that's what he. That's why he's doing the massage stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's cr- okay? So actually, today we were learning. Um, we were learning massage. We were learning about how to rape. On the table, and <laughs> please cut, please cut. This this cannot be aired anywhere. And um, I was uh, I was partnered up with this woman, Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> She's calm down. <laughs> no, um, and, and so the the towel over someone's called the draping. So when you're laying, normally you're draped up to the neck, and then I like I'll pull your arm out from under the blanket and and put it over, and then massage your arm, put the arm under. Like that's the at least in Massachusetts, that's how it's taught like the privacy. And, um, we were doing a, the, the lessons that we're taking now are called myofascial work, which is deeper sort of the fascia is the connective tissue that wraps around every muscle. And you have actually different fascial nets. It's actually kind of cool, but I, I won't go into elaborate detail, but to do myofascial work is like, it's sort of like high pressure, slow movements. It's, uh, it stretches the actual, uh, connective tissue around the muscle. So you're not, you're not necessarily, you're massaging the muscle, but what you're actually massaging is like the casing of the muscle. And uh, oh, I had a brat today that had some casing. Around yeah, some yeah. 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 <laughs> it's we, we actually played, we, it's we played. a brat. So I hear the kids are saying it's a brat summer. Yeah. What we, uh, are you talking actually, about? I've heard, I've heard that like gay, gay people, like gay people and um, women online are saying it's a brat summer. What does that mean? He's making a joke. No, I, don't um, get, I, don't, I get that he's making a joke. What's the joke? Giat? Anyway. Do you know what? Should I explain it? 
Some jokes, some jokes are better when you explain them. Yeah, okay, you can explain it. Okay, so right now, Charlie XCX has this new album, Brat, and the girls and the gays love it. I like it, too. Well, and it, people are saying right. it's a Brat summer, but Brat is spelled the same way as Brat, like Bratwurst. So I was saying it was a Brat summer because I had a Brat. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. I, know, I know. Joke, I'm not gay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know who that is. Alexa, play uh, 360 or 365 by Charlie XCX. Play Club Classics by Charlie XCX. For the rest of the video, it's going to be a loop. Um, hey, Ben, uh, anyway. put, up, uh, put, up, put up a picture of uh, Bricks and Brew, Woodfire Grill and Pub in Baxter Springs, Kansas. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's where Val lives. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, so today in class we were doing this like the slow thing, and you start with the neck. Well, well I, it's arms; it's all over the body. But today we were learning neck and so chest. My my wife also starts with the neck too. That's yeah. funny. Um, Can you get through a goddamn story? That's yes. That's what I'm attempting to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, we start with the neck, and then we move on to the chest. But in order to do the chest, uh, you do it over the draping, and you're basically just like center chest. And I, I'm paired with Nicola, a woman. So I'm like, is it like, are you comfortable with me massaging your chest? Like, is there anything like that you don't want me to do? And she goes, oh, no, I don't really care. And I was still kind of tentative. And the teacher's like, is there a problem, Sean? And I was like, well, no, I, it's just I'm just cause, like, I just don't want to like dive into this woman's like the center chest, like the <laughs> yeah. breast tissue. And, and the instructor, she's a, she's a very nice woman. And she was like, Sean, t- like tissue is tissue. Like you're not like groping. And even Nicole was like, yeah, it's fine. And I'm like, you don't understand. Like, you know, I am groping. I, I, <laughs> like, but I don't mind. I don't like in my own head. I guess I'm OK with like touching. Like I see bodies as bodies. Generally, like I'm not I'm not sexually aroused. Right? Like, oh, you're I, a serial killer. I didn't say this out loud, but I'm thinking like but I'm like contextually, like in my own head, I'm OK with touching someone's body. But I'm just so concerned that I'm going to do something wrong and make her uncomfortable. And then the story is like, yeah, I made I made you uncomfortable because I touched your breast. You know what I, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. there's no going back. If I cross a line, there's no accident. There's no Dude, guys have it so hard. Guys have yeah. it so hard. It's funny. I there's a joke. Guys that I, get hard. There's a there's a joke that I want to make and I can't because I don't want to get kicked out of school. But uh, we talked. <laughs> you about said the, that you were taking rapist classes <laughs> a moment ago. Oh, no, 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 no. What are you talking about? Making a joke to you is fine. Making a joke to you is fine. I mean, like in <laughs> class, in class, I think this would be very okay, funny okay. to say. So, like, we were, we were learning about the parasympathetic and the sympathetic. So, sympathetic is like the fight or flight response. You, it's where you get like agitated, your heart mm-hmm. starts beating faster. The parasympathetic is when you relax. And in both cases, if those, like, if you relax enough or if you're stressed enough, you can get an, an erection, a sexual arousal reaction. And so that makes so much sense. And, and so, um, I would love to say something to the effect of like, you start, you know, you're starting massage, you're starting with like the face or whatever. And you're like, just so you know, like it's perfectly natural uh, during a massage because it's an intimate touch, you know, erections are are a very natural thing to happen. So if you feel anything on your hand, can you say that that during the CNS? Go ahead. Yeah. That's anyway, that was the joke. Well, say it during the CNS unironically. Yeah. Yeah. Because I will get hard. Yeah, yeah, and I will too. Like that's like the point. <laughs> yeah. um, I was I was talking to my mom. I've been, I've, yeah, I've been, I've been. Bro. You were then. Go ahead. Well, you were fucking raping and yeah, groping, or whatever you said. Yeah. Um. So I I I'm going to my parents' house. I was talking to my mom, and I was like, well, Sean wants to talk about content. Well, can Sean can Sean Sean can wait a moment. <laughs> He's talked enough. This happens every time, brother. I, I took an interviewing class, by the way, and they told me to always interrupt. They say. Have yeah, someone yeah, yeah. start talking, interrupt them, make someone else start talking, and then yeah. remind yeah. them that yeah. someone else is waiting. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. It's an infinite loop. And then, yeah, and then yeah. Uh, interrupt that person. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm, I'm very familiar. I took you the class as well. You actually hate hearing me talk, which is fine, you know? Yeah. Can so, you shut up? I think he talked to you. I think he talked to you. I told my mom that I was going to, I was worried that I was going to get morning wood because I'm sleeping in the common area in my, in my house. Go ahead. <laughs> he's cutting out. He yeah, just said, I, I told my mom I was afraid of getting morning wood, and then he cut out. Okay, I'm going to my parents' house yeah, in North yeah. Carolina. They yeah. don't have a room for me. They just have a bed yeah. in like a common area where they like the, like the, the, which is a, I don't yeah, say, yeah. a common area is not a right, the right word, but it's like the, like a den in the room. basement. And where people walk around, they walk through. 
to uh, um, bring the dogs out and stuff. And I was worried. I was like, mom, I can't sleep in like in an area like that because I get really, really bad morning wood. That's all. Go ahead. Why are you talking to your mom like this? My mom's a nurse. Yeah, I I feel like my mom's a nurse and I definitely am just like, mom. I was I was over at one of my friends' house houses earlier in the week, and I we were out drinking, and he was like, "We should come." He's just he's from out we of town. Come. Well, I met him when he lived here. Now he lives out of town. He's staying with his parents' house. We're out for a drink. He says, "Come back to where I'm staying. Let's get a few more drinks." Go back there. His parents are there. I'm drinking with his parents, and his mom keeps talking to me about her boobs. For like twenty, like a while, and like in front of him, and it was at the point where I was like, I don't want to tell your mom to stop talking, <laughs> but like maybe you should consider alternative actions. That's crazy. Yeah, um, you could just say like, my friend does breast massage, and then I don't want to. I don't want to talk about my friend that badly out loud. But he referred to uh, her husband, my friend's dad as daddy, like every time, like in front of everyone. And I was like, this is odd. This is my mom. My mom still says like, my mom still calls my dad. Like she'll, she'll be like, she'll call me. And she's like, daddy's been thinking about what, and I just have to, that to me is fine. Cause she's talking to you about him. Okay. But she was directly saying like, Hey daddy, can you get me some water like that? Okay, that's that's, My mom will call my dad, Dan. Like if she's talking to my dad, she'll be like, Dan. My brother does that. I feel like it makes a difference who you're talking to. Well, uh, uh, I, what do I call my dad? I call him pops. Yeah. Sometimes you call him pops. Sometimes you call him gay. I say, hey, hey, Rick. I just say dad. Dad's too boring. I say, I go, I go, ma, and I think it's ma and pops. I have fun grandparents' names, but I, I, my mom and dad. Yeah, I used to call my great grandmother Nana. I have a Nana. I have. I think that's it. Mine aren't, mine aren't like that creative, but I feel like they're different enough. I have Grammy and Grampy. Okay. And Grandmommy and Granddaddy, which is interesting. Now that, that, uh, now that I watch a now lot that of I porn. Say it, now that I say it like that. Yeah, I, I only have, I have a Nana and a Grammy. Is she, and that's is she it, Polish I or is I Nana don't, Polish? I don't know. She's not, we're not, if she's my mom's like half mom or something, I don't remember. Sister, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, did you see the picture of the pancakes I posted in guest Yeah, I did. I did look at that, yeah. Wanna, that was fun. I want to see pick, pancake pictures. I do. I miss shitty sausages. Those are fun pancakes. I, I, I miss. I, as a vegan, too. I I miss like really really bad sausages. You know what I mean? Like the ones you can eat like thirty of. You're fucking like, up it, being a vegan, dude. Have, if you you've never in your life had a McGriddle and you're missing out, they are so fucking good. Go ahead. They're not worth it, dude. They're not worth breaking your oath. There's, I'm now looking at Oriental Garden in Baxter Springs, Kansas, and there's this one guy uploads every picture on Google Maps, and he finds it's like the same guy taking a picture with like a hundred strangers, like eating their food. It's really weird. There's a guy uh, that goes around Cleveland and uh, the adjacent towns, uh, and he takes a picture as a little, uh, 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 little oh, shit, go on a thumb. Mm-hmm. And he just, he's just always in front That's of the nice. picture. Yeah. I've been to a few gotta, places that he's I got to bail in like 20 minutes, dude. What? Are you serious? What about David? What if David gets here and then he was like, I want to well, talk David to Sean. David kept saying that he's going to be here and then he's just not here. Yeah, he might ditch. If David ditches, I'll be really sad, but it happens, you know? Sometimes you just get busy. And now I'm, I'm looking at the only coffee shop in Thedford... Nebraska. Nebraska. Why are you looking at why are you looking at different states if you don't mind me asking? I'm just curious. You think Nebraska would be a fun state to live in? No. Yeah, I mean not traditionally. I'm sure I can make any place fun, you know. Yeah, you come yeah. you come to Cleveland, bro. And you know what we did? You know what we did? What do we do? Played Suica. These folks seem kind of nice, although this girl's coffee is just like gray. Oh. She's just literally just drinking, like literally, like not even like in a stereotypical, like, oh, this is a great coffee. I mean, literally, like it's like black. She's drinking like, like a black these pictures gray. for sure. Um, so I wanted to on the topic of you going to Hawaii, which is 
d- days late. Epic. Um, I wanted to, yeah, I just wanted to put in my, my, oh, two weeks I, notice. Was, I was, I was, I, what was that last time? I was like, um, territorial with you. And I was like, oh yeah, but Zach likes Cleveland because we played Suica. Something, something, Suica. Sean, go ahead, content. Sorry. I was watching porn. Um, content wise, I have a few ideas. Mm hmm. And I will actualize on them. Uh, I the thing is like um, right now where I am in life, I need to make sure that I'm financially stable, and so I have a job now, and it's gonna be good money in a little bit. So that what I'm sort of what I'm sort of waiting on is to reduce the stress of not having money by having money, and then I'll be in like a content creation mood. But I am like scripting stuff out. And one of the one of the major things that I'm scripting out is so I, I had like a long I had like a long sort of like personal reflection of like what do I want to do for content? And I realized that like streaming video games is like I don't like that. Very I, I thought I, I, I thought I did because I like playing video games and I especially like recording cool stuff that happens in video games, mm-hmm. but I don't actually think I I, I don't think I'm particularly interested in sharing those things. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, um, for a little while, I, like, took pictures on every vacation I went to. And then I stopped taking pictures, and I realized it was the same experience. And then I had that, I had that, like, that was, like, a, a separate, delineated thought from video games. And then I was like, wait, why am I thinking? Have you ever thought that you think about your life too much? Yeah, actually, I think about that a lot. He thinks he thinks I, about I know how that, he thinks like, about things too much. Yeah, yeah. I do the same thing too. This isn't even me like making fun of you because I do the exact yeah, same thing. Yeah, you just wanted me to stop talking. No, that's not it at all. But yeah. sometimes I like I go through my life and then I like think about the like details of everything, and then I kind of um, think like, oh, I just overthought myself out of this. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I overthought myself out of actually just living and enjoying a thing. This was um, the premise, the, or I should say the instigating thought for why I wanted to do that like little that other podcast with uh, Tristan and Joey. And then that didn't work out, which is fine. I don't blame Tristan or Joey, um, but that just didn't work out. And um, in hindsight, I shouldn't have made it about money. But I've also had a completely separate like thought of like, I think I'm actually okay with, I think I do want money. And for a long time, I think I, I think I was like, kind of like being like, oh, no, you just want whatever. I want fucking money. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I do, like, I don't necessarily like, I'm not living for money. Like I'm not like, I wouldn't trade anything to be a billionaire overnight or anything like that. But I think I do <laughs> want money. <laughs> but for, but for a long time, I was always like, no, I'm not like a money guy, but I am. It's is, funny to all, I have a funny scenario of like offering people money on the street and someone's like, oh, I'm not, I'm just not a money no, guy. I'm not a money guy. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't really like money. I know, but for, for a long time, I was like, I was like, oh, I don't mind being poor or whatever. But like, I'm not even poor and I don't think I have enough money. You know what I mean? I just want to be able to do whatever I well, want. Well, I think that you also have obligations that are chasing you that make you, that change your thought process in that way. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You know, so I, th- I think that that probably definitely affected so, that. It, it can you return a degree? Yeah, can, I like, I, I give it give it back and give me the, because you, I mean, you don't use it, do you, at this point? No, I don't use it, no. Yeah, give it, give um, the fucking degree back, get your money back. <laughs> I might use it in marketing to fool people into buying stuff from me, but, uh, or sell but it. In terms, in yeah. terms of channel channel direction, I'm really thinking about having it be chess content because I love chess. I, I actually I know. Am really. I know you do. Yeah, and uh, I really want to like rededicate to myself to learning chess as opposed to just playing it. And um, I do think it would be good content. But one of the other parts of content is I wanted to. There's a couple content creators that I like that I think would be a good. Like if I did case studies on why they're successful or what I think they could improve on as sort of both a way to, for me to assess my own self and also to share my thoughts. I think, I think stuff like that's very interesting to me. And I think accepting the idea that good content is content you like is kind of hard for me to accept sometimes Mm. in the sense that, in the sense that like I'm looking, I want content that works, but what content that works is content that 
is authentic. Yeah. Like, and which, one, like one thing I want to tell you is don't use fucking AI voice. Just read the damn script yourself. I, no, no, no. I did. The reason I did AI voice for that was because that was, uh, that's not even content that I want to do. <laughs> no, I, I just, you know what I mean? Like that was like, I need to get this done because I want this as a study tool. I don't know if you know this, Zach, but I made a, I did a, uh, the like first like chapter of this book talks about like when to hold and when to split and stuff. You gotta like that. know when to hold. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah, yeah. Know so, when to fold them. Right, exactly. And so um, I ben made. Know what we're talking about. What are you guys hiring? In the inside joke. Yeah, I made an AI script. I scripted out something and used an AI voice to make like a short that I could listen to myself. And I said, "Fuck it, I'll upload it." So originally that video, those two videos that I made weren't even supposed to be uploaded, but I was like, I might as well upload them to YouTube for shits and giggles. Right. I mean, they've got like a total of 10 views. So no, no, my plan is not to use AI voice ever, but. Ben, how did your AI voice shorts go for your Elden Ring thing? Pretty Great. good. Yeah, the, the shorts did pretty well. I got like, I think 11K on one of them. Whoa. All them, all them, all them did pretty all right. The only ones that died were the ones where I was a, either a soft boy or I did rock a raccoon. Uh, what do rock I raccoon. like? What do I even like anymore? What do you mm-hmm. like? Maybe I should make a YouTube channel about my girlfriend. Oh, dude, the, the like the Chris Chan idea, but with your girlfriend instead. Dude, just like a video essay. If I just, if I just, I just made didn't... YouTube videos of Haley snoring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude! Girlfriend <laughs> snoring is the best thing in the. world uh, I think we can all agree. Girlfriend snoring is like the best thing in the world. Am I wrong? Yeah. Right. Zach could bottle it. Should bottle it up and sell it I, online. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm a big mush. I'll. I'll do. I'll <laughs> suck that shit down. Some girlfriend snore. Thoughts on this? Thoughts. It, 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 same with like amaranth. Like it's like amaranth fart, but it's like. There's this guy I I watch on TikTok now. His name is like Hobie or something like that. Um, Hobie, if you ever watch this, I'm sorry for saying this, but he kind of looks all weird. Uh, like I did, like I think there's something wrong with him. I don't know what it is, but like he like can't open his eyes fully. Um, I've turned off my Google feed, by the way, because I'm an addict. Good job. You were addicted to the Google News feed. <laughs> He's addicted. Yeah. You would be the only need- person I've ever thought. Of like Trump that. has a very addictive personality. I have a very addictive personality, and so um, I can't wait to start gambling gamble and drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust um, me, Tristan and I are down the rabbit hole. We're like, we're going to do this for content and stream, and now we just gamble in <laughs> private Discord calls together every night. You should stream them more. Just saying. Go ahead. Um, I was saying something, wasn't I? I yeah, you were saying Sean, keep talking. So anyway, um, <laughs> my plan. <laughs> I honestly save me. I, I, uh, uh, a couple I'm going to watch videos. this later and kick myself for no. not remembering. Yeah, it's okay. A couple of YouTube videos are going to be dedicated to my oh, recent, Go ahead. My, my recent mental spiral. Um, cause I think that would be good content. And I think, um, I've had <laughs> good content, but I also think it would be good. I've taken to journaling a lot about what I'm actually thinking. Like one of the things that really, I like Dr. K. I don't know how either of you feel about Dr. K. I love him. And I don't know who that I, is. I, Okay, well, I really like him. He's a he's a, a, a MIT. He's like a psychiatrist, an actual licensed psychiatrist in Massachusetts. I think he's actually in Texas as well. Um, and he he has a YouTube channel and Twitch channel called Healthy Gamer, and he talks about like ADHD. Basically, he has like a focus on the gamer population for mental health. I really like him. I think he's a very sincere dude. I think he's very smart, and I think he's very well organized, and I think he cares a lot about the people he's trying to help. I don't think he's like a fake person at all. And one of the things that he mentions is he's gotten, he's accidentally or maybe on purpose gotten in or close to debates with people where people will try and like fraud him and like try and like make him look stupid or whatever. And he never, like, there's nothing. I've tried to watch every interview he does. And he, like, even on curveball questions, he'll be like, can I think for a second? And he'll come back with like a, a fucking brilliant retort mm-hmm. or something. And someone asked him in chat, like, why do you always know what to say? to people who are trying to like get you. And he's like, Oh, because I like write every, every, before every interview, before every stream, I like write down, he goes like, I have like thousands of pages. Like, he, and he goes, it's not even like, they're not even like intelligent writings. They're just organizing my thoughts so that when I actually say them out loud, I have already written them down. And if they make sense on paper, then 
he goes like he was saying like your thoughts can make sense in your head but when you say them they don't make sense so if you actually write them down and they still make sense, then you know they're at least yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think and like that, so in my head, I'm like, I've started doing that for my mental spirals, not trying to like beat someone in a debate, but just like write down what I'm thinking. And then I can like r- r- assess like, okay, obviously that's retarded. You know, when I, when I write this out, this is fucking crazy. And that's been very helpful. And I, I wanted to make some kind of video about that where I would talk about like, Here's all like the OCD issues that I have, but I, I, I wouldn't want to make it like, I wouldn't want to make it about like, I have OCD feel bad for me, but it's like, these are my thoughts on my OCD. What is you know the, what, I mean? what, what, what is spawning the OCD spirals? Exactly. I mean, oh, okay, okay. Give me a very, very, you can give me a very general answer if you have to. The main OCD form that I have is like medical OCD. Yeah. So I, I always say like, if I ever did a stand up, my bit would be, I don't have any of the useful compulsions like i don't clean <laughs> like i, I yeah. don't know if you can fucking tell about how like, yeah. like messy my desk is and shit yeah. but i i don't have any of the useful ocd stuff ocd is functionally two issues with the brain it's a dysregulation of the fear response and it's a dysregulation in the uh intrusive thoughts so they say intrusive thoughts are sticky so uh, you you might have an intrusive thought like you might be watching TV and something on the corner of the eye catches your eye and you might go like, Oh, what the hell was that? And then you go back to watching TV. But for me, I might be like, Oh, am I going like, it'll spiral into something like, am I going crazy? Yeah. Did I just see something? And it like, it's not even, and just to be clear, it's not even me being convinced of that. It's my brain not letting go of the idea. So I can go like, no, Sean, obviously we don't. No, it's, it's the logic obviously, versus the, the nervous yeah, yeah. system or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. so the last two, the last two things I had, we're back to back. It actually was a triple threat. It was uh, it was tetanus. I thought I had tetanus, and right. then I thought I had a blood clot for three weeks, and then right. I thought I had ra- I, then I thought I had rabies for a week. So okay. back to back, back to back for like three months. It was just like, and and the thing is, it's like not that I thought because I'm sitting there and I'm telling Haley like I'm fucking I might need to go to a psych ward or something because I'm retarded. <laughs> and Haley was like, you know, you don't have rabies, and I'm like, no, I know that I'm pretty sure that I don't have rabies or I'm pretty yeah. sure I don't have a blood clot. And the problem is the treatment for OCD specifically is to, to disengage from the thoughts, but not to argue with them. So like the uh, OCD is, is, is made worse through neuro neuro pathways and repetitive neuro pathways rather. So um, if you're constantly arguing with yourself, like if you go, Oh, I think I have tetanus because my hand hurts or my elbow hurts and joint pain is a symptom of tetanus. And you go, no, no, no. Obviously, I don't have tetanus. I have the I have the vaccine. Just arguing with yourself about not having tetanus is causing the OCD to be worse. Yeah, it's your brain, out more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, your your brain loops. And this is actually a cause for um I don't really watch Destiny anymore. I occasionally I will watch Destiny, but I don't really watch him that much. But I used to watch him a lot. And he had this like orbiter who had OCD and her OCD compulsions were to stalk him. And uh, no one understood that. Like, every, you know, all of the viewers were like, oh, she's just a stalker. She's a crazy psycho or whatever. But I totally understand, like, your brain is like, oh, I just need to make sure that he likes me still. Mm-hmm. So, like, you fought, like, and, and so it's like, it's slightly different from, like, schizophrenia or bipolar because you know that you, you should stop. You're going, like, I should stop. Yeah, this yeah. is not right. But you just keep looping with the idea of, like, I need to figure this out. This needs to be solved now, whatever. I'm like, and so it's like fascinating stuff like that. Cause I'm sitting, you're, you're like trapped. It's like two brains. Yeah. And so that's what I wanted to write about. Uh, it's uh, fascinating uh, indeed. I think that is fascinating. I, yeah. I will say though, the, um, I had a moment today. I don't know if it's OCD or not. I, I, I kind of blame it on it. That's mine. That's my word. <laughs> I kind of blame it on uh, OCD because my, obviously my old, uh, if you know, my old man, my old man definitely has OCD. Yeah, yeah. Um, this morning I made my protein shake and I think, I guess I filled it too much and it was a vacuum seal and it was, I couldn't get the top off. And this Tell is, me about it. This <laughs> This is at 8 a.m. This is at 8 a.m. I make yeah, this. Yeah, and yeah. I, 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 as I, I just get up and I'm like, fuck, I don't want to deal with this. And I'm like hurting my wrist, like t- trying to twist both. Yeah. I can't hurt my wrist. 
and I keep doing it and I'm getting more and more angry. I'm getting more and more angry, more and more angry, more and more angry because I can't figure it out. And then I'm, I'm, my logic brain goes, okay, it doesn't matter. Wait until it, wait until it heats up. Maybe it'll, something will melt in yeah, there. Okay. And right. And I, I do logic brain. I come upstairs. I put it here. I, I'm working. I'm getting hungry. And I look at it and I, all that anger comes back. I'm like, cause I can't fucking get it off. Okay. Yeah. So I went yeah. downstairs. And I kept trying to open it, kept trying to open it, kept trying to open it, kept trying to open it. And I was like a fucking crazy person. Alex just came down yeah. and she was like, oh, I'll make, I'll, we can make toast. I'll, I'll even make it for you. Don't worry. She's being very, very nice to me. And I'm like, and I'm just getting mad. I'm just getting angry. Shut up, because, bitch. Because I'm like, I don't want the toast. I want to open this. Right. And I, I'm, I keep going like a fucking, going fucking nuts. I'm like, I'm like, like all my strength is trying to open this thing and it's not moving. Right. And I like, she's like, all right. Put it in hot water. I'll make you toast. Put it in hot water. Put it in the sink. I said, I said okay. So I said, I, I, I put it in hot water. I sat, I sat down and I was, I was thinking, I was like, you know, it's fine. I'm going to get toast. I'm not going to be hungry anymore. I can go up. I, I can go toast. up. And, and I was like, I was like, I'll get, I'll get toast. I'll get toast. And then I'd like, I like peer over to the, to the, to the thing and I see it. And she's like, she's like, don't do it. Those are, she, she essentially was like, just don't, don't think about it. It's going to get more angry. And I walked over and, and then, and then, <laughs> She she made the toast. She she made it very nice. She was very nice. She knew, she knew I was frustrated. She made the toast. She put the the butter on the toast. Whatever. The gave butter. It she gave it to butter me. Butter dog. And she had a meeting. She had to go upstairs. And as soon as she was out of earshot, I started going back at it. I was like, I gotta get this fucking thing off. But I was losing my fucking mind. I was losing yeah. my fucking mind doing this. I don't know what that what that was. I was just extremely upset at it. And I was like, it was it was the logic brain versus like the. Um, yeah, compulsive like a uh, 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 the intrusive thought of like I, it. Not. I, I need to get it open. It is. It, yeah, yeah. it's it, it's a waste of the protein shake. If it's if it's I need to like confirm if it's broken or not. I need to try to fix it. If it if there is something that I can fix with it, I had this whole like thought process, and it was just. It was. I was like autistically angry at it. I was so yeah. pissed off. Um. But all I had to do was uh, run hot water over it for like a minute and uh, it opened fine, pretty fine. So, yeah, I was a guy that I met this morning who cut me off driving to work and I want to blow him up. Oh, hey, Val. Might be. Might be. Valorant. Yeah, Valorant. Um, no, her name is Val. Would that dox me if I doxed her name? Yeah, probably. Possibly. Mutually assured destruction, brother. Scorched earth. I, I swear to God, she makes me hate. She's Brazilian. I hate Brazilians now. It's over. It's like you guys watch the boys. No, honestly, I've had. I haven't watched the boys, and I get nightmares about that show. What does that mean? <laughs> I like, like, I have dreams where Homelander is like just killing everyone around me, and I like wake up in the dude. Cold there was sweat. such a cool scene. There was such a cool scene, and I, I don't want to. I'm not going to spoil too much. I really suggest watching it. There's a scene in season two where he gets mad at a crowd of people that are like against him and he just starts mowing them down. And he's supposed to be the good guy. And he's like mowing them down with his laser eyes. And I was um, like, Oh, that's awesome. It adds like a whole, like, that's like, that's such an interesting thing. How is he going to talk his way out of it? How, you know, whatever. And then it was just a dream. I was like, oh, you fuck. Or not a dream, but it was like a, he was like, he was like, ideating what he was, like, yeah, was yeah, going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, you fucking bitch. That would have been so much more interesting if he actually yeah, yeah. did it. Um, Great show, though. Hot take. I got hot spoiled. Go ahead. I was going to say, hot take more I got shows spoiled. should do dream sequences. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Why? I feel like uh, it upsets a lot of people, but then you get to see characters do things. I get you, but it's do. filler. It's filler. The, I, I'm, so it's taking me like 20 years to watch through The Sopranos right now. When the last season, yeah, Sopranos well, is not good. I I watched it twice over, dude. Okay, let me. I, <laughs> you made Zach mad. I'm I'm uh, I'm on the last season, episode seventeen. I'm almost done. Okay, we can discuss it after. Okay, this show has more dream sequences yeah. than I've seen in any other TV series. There's literally there's a scene. Okay, I, I guess. Kind of a spoiler, but not really. Like, it's okay. been up for like thirty years yeah, okay. or some shit, right? You're fine. Yeah, but I, I would say don't spoil it for me though, because I'm almost done with it. Skip like 
20 seconds, if you don't want a spoiler, for a small part of the last season. Tony Soprano goes into a coma at the beginning of the last season, and you spend like four episodes in a row in a dream. Yeah. It's so weird, but I kind of love the show for being like, okay, this is the last season of The Sopranos, right? Last season, you're really excited. You're really pumped. You want to see what happens? Fuck you. Four episodes in a so, row but wait, of but fucking dream what sequence. What matters is if the dream sequence has relevance to his character, which I think it does. Okay, yeah. If it's like if it's like reconciling it's with like, like people that died or whatever. Dream sequence in like season one or two where Tony talks to a fish. I think it's in season like two or three. How, how relevant is that to his character? Uh, no, I think they handled Tony pretty well. I'll say that. You know, they handle Tony pretty well. What what they're doing with AJ right now is a little yeah, yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, well, I think AJ is a piece of shit. He's a shitty ass character, and I th- I hope he dies and kills himself. Sewer slide. Is that what happens? It wouldn't surprise me if that's what happened at this point. No, I didn't. No, he doesn't. I don't. No spoiler, but he doesn't kill himself. But, but you're on the last. You're on the last season, right? I'm. On, there's 21 episodes of the last season. I'm on episode. I either got to episode 17 or I watched episode 17. I forget. Bro, I love long shows. I watched all four seasons of The Boys and the the one season of Gen V. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. It is Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul and The Sopranos. And that will have you set for three fucking years. How far do I have to make it into Breaking Bad before I like it? Because I watched the first three episodes and I did not like it. I don't know what to tell you. I mean... Breaking Bad, I mean, it's just a constant crescendo. I mean, I, like, towards the I, end of it, you're watching so much shit where it's like, I cannot believe what's happening. But, uh, I yeah, I mean, if really you don't like, like it on the pilot, I don't know. I had to fight through Better Call Saul, to be honest with you. I don't think I even... Better Call to- Saul's ending is so much better than Breaking Bad's hot take. The last season of Better Call Saul it is so fucking I good. I don't think I finished Better Call Saul, and I gotta tell you, I couldn't get past the pilot of... Of, uh, season one's a little bit of a snooze fest, if I'm being honest with well, you. That one, I'll Game say. of Thrones season one is also really shit to like the ninth episode. So I don't want to say shit. It's good, but it's so like I think I changes. think you guys just don't like. Honestly, if you're not into those shows by that point, I'm not even going to try to tell you to watch more of it. Yeah. I'm just telling you for me personally, like like Breaking Bad is so good, and then the lat like Better Call Saul I think is good throughout. But oh my god, that last season is some of the like I, I I'm not afraid to say it. The last season of Better Call Saul is the best thing I've ever seen on television. Period. Or I haven't seen the boys season t- three. I'll say Fight this. me. Without spoiler, without spoiler, there is people, I guess at the time of the ending of the Sopranos, people were unsure of the meaning of the last episode. When I watched the last episode, I was like, oh, I get it. And I'm not even trying to like suck my own dick. I was just like, oh, that makes sense. Like literally, I think I know a lot of people's complaints about. I mean, let's be real. I don't know exactly 100 percent like how it ends, but I've heard people complain about it. I know a guy walks into a room, it cuts to black, and it's like, did Tony live or not? Is like how the yeah. series. Okay, yeah. Like I know that that is what how it ends. I don't know what leads up there. I don't know who the guy is. I don't know who's around him. I don't know what happens to any of the characters. I just know it cuts to black and people thought their TV is turned off. That's all I know. Uh, let me double check something before I spoil something. But yes, you have the general gist. Um, 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 the I love these shows, by the way. These three shows, I get that it's like basic bitch guy in your 20s. you like we like Breaking Bad and The Soprano. Fucking awesome. Another boring show that I love that you'd probably hate, House of Cards. R.I.P. Kevin Spacey. They, Some of the they, best he, he shit I've seen out, on television he, Or did he, did they cancel it? He got what? Swapped out? Uh, It's complicated. So towards the end of House of Cards. So, like, he's the president and his, like, wife is, like, kind of managing stuff around him. And before all the allegations came out, they were kind of setting up her to become the main character anyways. But like not like not like the main character. They were like, okay, let me put it this way. So do you know what breaking the fourth wall is? Of course. So Kevin Spacey's character does it all the time throughout the whole series. The whole not the point of the show, but like 
a big theme of oh, the show is like never mind i can't say anything sorry go on okay but a big theme of the show of house of cards is like you the audience and uh kevin spacey's character god what's his name um i forget the president uh fuck it's in the top top of my fucking tip of my tongue either way you and Kevin Spacey's character have like a relationship in the show. Like he is directly talking to the audience. Like the president of the United States knows he's being filmed and is in a TV show is kind of a thing. Okay. Um, and he's the only character that ever does that until the second to last season, his wife looks at the camera and acknowledges the audience, which is like great. Like, like they heavily implies that she's about to, you know, take over a yeah, larger yeah. range of the show. This is before the allegations season ends. Kevin Spacey allegations come out, gone out of the show, like gone out of the show. And now all of a sudden his four, like he gets the, in the show, I guess he's like dead or something. And then his wife is now the main character. It just feels like they were already kind of setting her up to be important, but they had like a plan as to like how that would happen. And then they just had to wipe everything. And then now she's the person. So, I don't know. Hmm. There you go. And he, he, uh, he had, he could touch the kid or something. What a lot it? of kids. And uh, so and do you, do you know about the Kevin Spacey conspiracies? No, no, dude, uh, this. Okay. So Kevin Spacey was accused of molesting and sexually assaulting like five different young men right they all had their trials set for like a couple of years ago every single one of them died in a car accident that year That's every insane. single one of them it's every cool. single one of them that year that had a court date with him died unexpectedly in the same type of death yes nice yeah, That's true. True. maybe it's not fun maybe i'm off on the numbers i don't know but like The point is, is there were multiple men that were like, Kevin Spacey molested me. Let's go to court. And all those men died that year before he could ever be found guilty of anything. Kevin Spacey is actually the president, is what I'm learning. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, gay people can't drive. So it's like six to one. You know what I mean? (laughs) Well, it's also funny, too, is like Kevin Spacey's character in House of Cards, Frank Underwood, Jesus Christ, I am I now remembering this? Yeah, he like is on top of wood. (laughs) Yeah, he's uh, he he in the show is the president of the United States who is secretly bisexual and kills people without like other people's knowledge to gain like political power. The more I talk about House of Cards out loud, the more it sounds like not a real show. (laughs) The more it sounds like it's more interesting. House of Cards to me is very House of Cards to me is very, very interesting. And when I explain it like this, it's like the president you have a personal relationship with the president and he's a gay. He talks to you and he kills people to gain power. That sounds awesome. But if you were to watch the show, you'd be bored out of your fucking mind. I promise you, Ben, you would not like sit through, or maybe you'd love it. I don't know. He yeah, plays PlayStation at one point. He's like addicted to playing kill zone on the PlayStation. Which one? Three. I don't know. Whatever one was coming out at the time. Cause it was definitely a paid promotion that the president like secretly has like a kill zone well, addic- wasn't, addiction. Wasn't Fort, isn't for Fortnite part of the Marvel and the MCU? All right, buddy. All right. Bye. Bye. Enjoy your sleep, pussy bitch. You guys stay productive. No. This is productive. Me ranting about House of Cards is productive. Yeah. More productive than me. I don't know. You're about to go do something that actually gets you. I'm about to go to bed in life. Yeah, late. All right. I love you. I love everybody. I love stuff, man. You're loving stuff right now? Your stuff loving? Um, I got a lot of things to look forward to. I got a lot of good people around me. I feel like I've overcame a lot in my life and I'm doing things that I've wanted to do for a long time. But I also feel like everyone around me is going through some shit right now. And I also feel like I have the most mediocre version of my dream. You know what I mean? Like I had a dream to be doing what I'm doing right now. And I have like it technically. You know what I mean? Like I have like a half-assed version of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know. Where am I going? What am I doing? 
Yeah, I guess. I, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Because I, I released that one video and it did pretty well. And now I don't want, I don't have any motivation to do another. They'll be waiting. I, 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 I've been, I've been editing it very slowly. And I'm like, I just don't care enough. At this, at this moment eventually you'll get the steam i mean you did that with elden ring where you just didn't care for a while and you picked it back up and you know yeah i don't even have a direction for this least, video, unfortunately but uh, i was right about to say at least you have direction for it I, yeah, do not. <laughs> I was literally right about to say at least you have some direction on I, it. the only direction i mean i have direction editorially but i at at the moment but i don't have like an end goal of what it'll look like all i'm doing now is clipping shit i haven't even started a script or anything i think that you're gonna go that direction i, I haven't really done anything like that but um it uh yeah i mean that's my thing and now like the podcast it was funny because when i realized that the podcast was fuck it was honestly almost a relief i was like that's something i don't have to do this week content wise i hear you you know but uh but i've been playing some zelda infinite blake and infinite blake it's my new game infinite Infinite Break break until cns Season two, uh, yeah, a definite hiatus. Um, no, but it was it's it's been fun just not feeling like I have to edit all the time. So we're quitting. So we're done. The last episode was called "We Should Quit," and this is the episode we did quit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we quit. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm I'm in a bit of a. I've been up all floating like little shitty short videos, but like mm-hmm. I'm kind of in like a brain fog me too me too buddy feeling i mean me me too i i feel like my my brain is a little bit foggy and i don't know what to do about it something's in the air again bad things keep happening to people around me brain foggy just feeling unmotivated so do you it's just something's going on just peak peak summer maybe you know like the heat it's hot a life stuff going on yeah everybody's busy all the time yeah. I'm hopefully busy. Yeah. hopefully when we when we get down to actually do CNS it kind of reignites some. I think stuff the in CNS, I, I I definitely think because honestly the regurgitated stuff since the video popped off, I've been thinking about how to where to go with my personal channel. And I I don't want to say regurgitated took a back seat versus because it was definitely in the front seat before that video. But it took a bit of a back seat for a while. And now I'm thinking about it more and I'm like, but the CNS stuff was actually more fun, to, weirdly more fun to make than the, the Elden Ring and video. I think people responded to it pretty decently too. I mean, obviously none of them popped off in the way that yours did, but I do think that consistently, I, I do think like, I don't know if someone watched that, they'd have a good time. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. sometimes with this, it's like, I think I'm funny. And I think there's like a certain person where they could watch through this and as you put it like second monitor type shit like would be kind of nice but i think like majority of the people clicking on this video aren't gonna get a huge amount of value out of it you know what i mean Mm -hmm. but i do think like with the cns videos if i was a random person that i clicked on it i'd probably have a good time you know what i mean it was rewarding for me to make i feel proud of us for making it and i genuinely feel like if we just kept that machine going, like if eventually someone, if someone clicked on it, they'd have a good time, you know? Yeah. I, and that's I, all I, I really still, want. Out of all the videos that I've made in the last few years, I'll watch some of my, my personal channel clips every so often, but most of the time I'm, um, I'm, uh, rewatching like CNS. Cause it was so fun. I would love to find a way to just do that more often. <laughs> Me too. How do how do we live in a how do we make that happen? You, you got to move closer. To, you got to move in with me. Okay, and that's what we do. Hard cut to me there. <laughs> <laughs> I just turn and you're right there. Yeah, that'd be good. But no, I mean, like again, I know that we kind of bulk record a few of them. I just wonder, like, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not possible at all. But I just that type of thing, you know. It's not possible. <laughs> it's also good too. Cause like, you know, I feel like when I have like creative drive, I push things forward, whether it's me, you or whoever's working on stuff. 
But when it comes to myself, I just feel like ideation wise, I'm like, oh, that's lame. That's dumb. But when I have someone like you who's invested in making stuff with me, I'm like, who cares if it's dumb? Like we're yeah. having fun. Yeah. And I feel like that's kind of the big difference just to me being productive with you than productive on my own, you know? Yeah. Because when I'm with other people, it's just fun. Like I can just tell that to myself, like, oh, it's just fun. Yeah. But when I'm by myself, I'm like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, we're have we're in a bit of a content, uh, fog right now, I guess. And hopefully that'll change, oh. but the last two episodes we recorded that we lost were pretty great. I don't know. Fucking How do you feel about this one so far? Not as good as either of the other two, but we expected that. We definitely expected yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, Oh, well, just, okay. So also another thing that you guys missed is we named a hundred black people. No context for this. There was a, a thing, a reason for it. Then we lost it and we said, Hey, let's try it again. Let's name a hundred women. We did it. I don't know if I have the energy to do this one more time, but I don't even know who else we would name. Can name a hundred white men. Just skip right to the fucking one that has no point to it. Oh, we could do that. That'd be a good way to end the show. A hundred white, white men? men. Yeah. Uh, Trump. Well, I feel like, okay. So for context, I said that I'm sorry. Like the, the, the black person one started off with like a, like a sincere apology and saying, I need to like learn and grow. And to prove that we're not racist, we're going to name a hundred black people. And it was successful. Then we did women as a makeup. And so now I'm thinking like, what's the point of a hundred white men? It's very oh, easy. Of, We're very privileged. The point of a hundred white men is we want to get in touch with our roots. Oh, okay. We want to have white pride. <laughs> yep. We want to have white pride. So we're going to name a hundred of our fellows. <laughs> right, our Trump. contemporaries. Oh, he's orange. Snooky. Homer Simpson. Yellow. Um, what what defines what defines as white? Descending from the Caucasus Mountains, <laughs> crafted in Yakub's <laughs> laboratory, right 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 out of the Caucasus Mountains is what we need to do. Okay, <laughs> yeah, for, yeah. I need I need a t shirt. This is straight out of, straight out of the Caucasus, Caucasus <laughs> Mountains. Uh, that's funny as fuck. Straight the out of Euro Caucasus plans. is great. That's a great yeah. shirt. Um, and sell that in Congress. Yeah. Um, Mitch McConnell. Mitch McConnell. Um, Ted Cruz. Joe Biden. But he is he really a man? Yeah, it doesn't have to be alive to be a man. Uh huh. Okay. Michelle Obama. Um. <laughs> she, he's not white. <sighs> I've missed that part. Um, I'm actually having more trouble now than I ever did before. Oni plays. <laughs> this reveal is so funny. That is such a funny <laughs> jump. <laughs> okay, I, I can went even... from Michelle Obama to Oni plays. <laughs> uh, Sean O'Day. Tristan. Tristan Vernair. Tristan Vernair. We got Tyler Jabzino. Oh, Jabzino. Meaning that I've been meaning to message him recently to check in on him. Oh, well, the cast Ethan. We got Len, Fenn, we got Marshall. Well, no one knows who Len and Fenn are. <laughs> oh, they're, not, they're not canon anymore, that's true. Chumby Wumby. Chumby Wumby. B-Loaf. He's a dog. Damn it. Does that count? No, that's not if you're a dog. Brian Griffin. Brian Griffin. Peter Griffin. It's a white man. <laughs> Peter Griffin, Seth yeah. Seth MacFarlane. Yep. Um, Candace Owens. <laughs> I can't. I can't take take back. Uh, Canceled. Uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know why Tyson. I had to think about Wait, that. That's the backwards. I had it backwards. I'm sorry. I was thinking of someone who is M F T M, and I was that's an M T F. Sorry, that's I, I had that. Oh backwards. yeah, I forgot we were including trans women in the previous one. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. I can't think of many. FTMs. Me neither. That are like publicly known. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That one chick. God. Um, no guy. Page. Elliot Page. <laughs> Elliot. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. I couldn't think of his first name. Joshua Block. 
John, World of T-shirts. World of T-shirts. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Larson. Larson. <laughs> That's yeah. always going to be the next a one. Boogie two nine. Boogie, whatever. Keemstar. You got Wings uh, of Redemption. Wings of Redemption. I love that you know the low cow people. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Mm. Is Chris Chan? Oh no, that's a great point. Yeah, we're in fact, trans people yeah. are. Yeah, they're identified gender, of course. At I'm one sorry. point, Chris Chan was a guy, but I would say it would be. Yeah, no, you're cor- you're correct. correct. That's my bad. That's my bad. Um, um, my daddy, Herbert the pervert from Family Guy. Hi, Herbert. No, um, the Quagmire. Quagmire is a good one. That's a good one. Joe Swanson. Joe Swanson. Yeah. Crunk. He's like half a man. Groove. Okay. Uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's 30. Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly is very white. Oh, you gotta, you gotta do the Eminem. goat. Eminem, yep. Uh, Some shady. Yeah. Yep. The Jelly Roll. Uh, He's done a song with both of them recently. Oh, Jack White. The Jack greatest White. musician of all time has a new album coming out tonight. Yeah, Eminem also, he doesn't like fat people. Speaking of fat people, we already said Boogie. Um, Slim Shady. He's like a different guy Slim now. Slim Shady, yeah, that's right. That's right, Slim Shady. He's AI now. Surprisingly, don't see a whole lot of people hating Eminem for using AI for that stuff. I think they have enough it. hate for his album. Yeah, but I just, I'm surprised they haven't seen like a Twitter thread. Yeah. Like, I'm disappointed in Marshall Mathers for using yeah, AI yeah, yeah. in the Slim Shady versus Eminem complex face-off. I'm trying to think of content creators. Um, Tim the Tap Man, Nick Merckx, uh, Eddie Burnback, Gus are. Johnson. Dude, I watched the I watched the fuck a fucking video essay about him earlier today. What was it by Tom Dark? I hate him. Yeah, I hate him so much. I really don't. Like I hate him. him too. He's good at making videos, but I do hate him. Destiny. But I watched that video. I know. Me too. This is one hiker white. Was is he from Kaka? I mean, he looks like a little Middle Eastern. If I'm being <laughs> honest, I don't know. <laughs> just a little one, just a little guy. Uh, who's the oh who's Tony Willy, Soprano? Who's Tony Soprano? Who's Willy Wonka? What's his name? Timothy Chalamet. Tell me, that's not the one I was talking about, but that's fine. Gene Wilder. Gene Simmons. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. John Oliver. John Oliver. Ben Paquette. Ben Paquette. Daniel uh, Braun on YouTube. John Stewart. That's 50. Halfway the there. Spiffing Brit. Spiffing Brit. Uh, Stephen Colbert. Logan Paul. Jake Paul. Uh, uh, my name's Patty Nick Pimblett. Crompton. Pa- Nick, Nick Crompton. Yeah. My pocket stay, my I, pocket stay popping. Yes, I can rap and no, I'm not from Compton. England is my Patty city. Patty Pimblett. Patty Pimblett. Patty Pimblett. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Training Tatum. Ryan Reynolds. Ru- yeah, um, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Gordon Ramsey, 61. Um, Obama, he's half. <laughs> yeah, you get him Him as half and then Joe Swanson's half. Yep. Um, I'm just scrolling on YouTube Brian now. Brian Cameraman. I just have too many BIPOC creators on my YouTube feed, guys. I, know, I don't I know. know what... Brian the cameraman. Um uh John Master Chief. Master Chief. Allegedly. <laughs> Alleged white man. Uh who's the guy who played Master Peter Chief? Peter Santanello. Who's the guy who played Master Chief? It was like Pedro something or whatever. Oh, Pablo. Steve Downs. That's not what I was talking about. I was talking about the guy in the the to the Paramount Plus show, but that's fine. Oh, I I would have no clue. <laughs> oh, how are you, we haven't talked about that getting canceled ever. Oh yeah, it got um, canceled. Mark Cuban, Ludwig, Dexter from Dexter's Lab. <laughs> That's a crazy combination of three people that would rake away. Coffeezilla. Right. Coffeezilla, yep. All right. That's 70. Um, uh, Matt Pat. Yep. Oh, I can think of the Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast video. He had. Uh, oh, my. Mr. Mr. Beast stuff right now is a Jack little Jack Phillips. I dubs. Uh, Caleb uh, Hammer. Caleb Hammer. Um. <laughs> I was about to say my boss for a moment and I stopped myself. <laughs> um, um, Max Mofo had anything for views. Um, all right, move away from content creators. Who do, what celebrities do you know? 
Um, hold on. No celebrities that are white. I'm trying to verify. Uh, Bru- <laughs> Brutalis Muse 3000. Brutalis Muse 3000. George. Uh, Gerard Butler. Um, Young Lean. <laughs> That's a great one. Young Lean is great. Yeet. Is he white? He, uh, he's half white, half Mexican. Otatari. Is he, is he white? Josh Allen of the Bills. Allen from uh, uh, Two and a Half Men. Charlie Sheen. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Um, Tiger Woods. Is he half white? I don't know. I think he's half Asian. Uh, it doesn't, that doesn't count. Um, L.L. Bean. Who is, who is L.L. Bean? J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, Joe Biden, did we say him? No, uh, yep. I think we that was one, that was the second one. Okay, Robert Pattinson and Robert Downey Jr. A hundred white men. Let's fucking go. People said, we, people said we couldn't do it. People said we couldn't name a hundred white men, and we did it. I think it actually almost took longer than either of the other two. So, yeah. When we named a hundred black people, guys, it took like three seconds. It took. That's an overstatement. It was like fucking ten minutes. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I broke the. I broke it. I broke the fourth wall. Whatever. I broke the rule. I broke the rule. I'm Frank Underwood. <laughs> I have. I have. Uh, my face was bleeding, so I put uh, uh, Medi Cast on it, and it. I can still smell it. So I got a shower. I look really good at this angle right now. Can you mute? You gotta put your tongue on the top of your. I think you're doing it, but your tongue on the top of your mouth. How do you like the blue lights back there? Pretty good. They're, they're, they look a little bit purplish, but they're probably just only blue. All right. I, I'll be, I gotta be honest with you, dude. I love you. I love doing this. And again, I think we got a good thing going on. Hence the last two episodes we lost, but I, my, my brain's fried. My brain's not fried. My brain's being slow roasted. <laughs> No, it's that makes sense. Off the bone. And it's also a Thursday at eleven fifty-four p.m. Well, it's actually only what eight fifty-four p.m. for you, but it's a Thursday. It's not a Friday. We don't. We, you know, the school's not out. You know what I mean? So that's when Ben gets excited. <laughs> is when school the school's let out. That's right. <laughs> so um, yeah, take Sylvester it away. Sylvester Stallone, Clint Eastwood. Keep going. Away. Keep doing the white people person thing. We, already, we don't need extra uh, bonus who, points. Who's the guy? Uh, Toby McGuire. Ulysses S. Grant, Tom Hanks, Albert Einstein, Owen Abe, Wilson, honest Abe, honest Larry Abe. Bird, Jack Harlow. Yeah, Honest Will, Abe. Honest Abe. Will Farrell. Say honest oh, Abe. How, who could forget Woody Harrelson? The, honest Woody Abe. Allen. George Harrison. George Lucas. This isn't George Harrison. Harrison Ford is who I was thinking of. Mm, Jesus Christ. Bullish. Um uh that and pick a late night host um i think we already did that jimmy Kimmel, jimmy fallon anderson cooper george who's, clooney who's the ugly one who danced on the street and i got everyone mad james corden james corden james corden zach hill of death grips fame on hill of super bad fame andy morin michael sarah Um, Tom McDonald, Ben Shapiro, McDonald's. All right, yeah. All right, that's it. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> and that's why you should subscribe. Oh, I'm editing that. Sh- I don't give a fuck if I put this out there. I'm editing that stupid fucking short right now uh, that we filmed of like the regurgitated podcast quiz. And I'm putting it together and I'm like, I don't, why am I spending so much time on this fucking <laughs> short? Yeah. I'm going to make very, it. Very, very popular. Very, it's going to be a very popular one. Don't worry. But hey, yeah, take yeah. it away. Take it away. I don't know what to sing. 
Yeah, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Smash that like button. And thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, if you didn't get this far, I'm not surprised. Where's the content? Hey. I, lo I love you. Man, I love you. Man, I love you. I love you. I love eating too. I love you. Oh, I love you. Derek from from Oregon. Derek. Derek from Eugene, Oregon. How are you going to live in a town that sounds like another first name? Do you think it's like Eugene in Eugene, Oregon? Couldn't be. Do you think that's against the rules? Do you think there's a Portland in Portland, Oregon? Do you think there's a bolt? Uh, a man named Cleveland? A woman named Cleveland? There's probably like a John Cleveland. Why no, are we doing I'm this? Not. Let's go to sleep simply. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Right. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, we got to say a funny thing. Uh, I'm happy uh, we don't have the last funny thing on here. That was probably the killer yeah, of the show right. the last time. They not like us. They not like us. Why did I say they that? They not like us. Hey.